Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. It's lovely to have your company. How are you today? Um, I think it's going to be a nice sunny day, which will just oh, lift all of our spirits. Yesterday was beautiful, actually, wasn't it? Yes, it was really nice. Uh, I hope everybody is keeping safe, keeping well, uh, and keeping busy. Keeping busy. I've been looking on the, uh, the Facebook fan page, and it's so good to see so many unfinished projects that are being finished. It's really good, isn't it? Maybe you're, you're getting out a quilt that's needed to be quilted or binded for ages and you're getting that done so every cloud I like to think have us a bit of a silver lining that we're getting lots of lots of projects done and lots of new people to our community uh, the amount of I know fans that have been getting in touch with us on social media who have been saying I found you literally over the last couple of weeks I love sewing because actually when it comes to television uh, channels there aren't that many options just dedicated to a channel or a show that is dedicated to sewing. So it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant uh, that you found us and you're going to love your sewing journey. We've got a brilliant lineup for you today. Three whole hours packed. Packed, 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 full of gorgeousness. So uh, those of you that, that have not watched us before, uh, we're doing everything in our power, of course, to try and keep you company during this really, really difficult time and be on air. Uh, so we are a real skeleton crew. There's me, myself, and Joe, who is our director, producer. Well, he's, he's, he's multitasking everything in the, in the gallery, running the graphics and doing all sorts. But we've also got a lot of the team who are working from home behind the scenes, who are going to be messaging in and updating us on different stock and letting us know um, some crazy, crazy deals and crazy prices for you. So even though there's just the two of us here, there's so many people behind the scenes who are still working really, really hard to make sure that the show is able to go ahead Head. and our warehouse team they are equally doing the most incredible job obviously the, the the most important thing is the safety of the staff so there are a minimal people working in the warehouse but as far as I'm aware keeping up with the orders at the moment so thank you so much for your patience if it may if it may take a day or two longer to get your delivery then I do just want to say thank you for, for being so understanding and patient but at the moment as far as I'm aware I've been told that it's it's still three to five working days which is Brilliant. Um, so, uh, if you do want to get involved today, if you do want to, to come and just say hello, even if you're not shopping with us, it's so important more than ever that we all just talk and interact and, and keep each other company. So, Facebook, it's Sewing Street TV is our official Facebook page. Lovely Hayley, who is working from home, Hayley Bryant, she is our marketing manager. She's in charge of the Facebook page. She's going to be checking up on that. If you've got any questions or if you just want to come and say hello, she'll send through the messages if Joe hasn't already spotted them on Facebook and I'll read them out and come and say hello to me. Uh, it's really, really lovely. I've been in self-isolation as well for three weeks, so I know what it's like. It's just so nice to be able to just say hello. <laughs> Human interaction is just so, so important. And I know it's obviously from a distance or virtual, but still, it's nice to say hello. Um, if you are purchasing with us today, which uh, only one post in packaging all day long, and also some of the deals that we have got today are amazing. Before I start the early bird, which is one of the best deals I've seen on Fat Quarters, I just want to tell you, coming up this hour, we've got one of the best deals on extra wide fabric. If you know, you know, it's back. If you've seen it before, oh my word, I absolutely said categorically we would not be able to, I thought it was wrong, uh, and for some, crazy reason we've managed to get it back so if you do want extra wide backing fabric stay tuned half past eight this morning we're going to do it uh, if you are shopping with us it's www.sewingstreet.com it will redirect you to our, our, our sister channel's landing sort of page jewelry maker but we've got our own page on there where you'll be able to watch us live you'll be able to sign up to our newsletter so Hayley can keep you in the loop of everything that's going on uh, and you can already start shopping I don't, for anybody, that's, uh, for anybody that's new to us and you're waiting to see the different bits and bobs that are on the show, if you can't wait, already eagle eyes are spotting it. And I can see uh, there's, Joe's telling me there's people already checking out on baskets, which is brilliant. All of the products from today's show are already listed underneath us on the website. So we've got lots of great tools. We've got some fabulous fabrics. We've got some new creative grids, which I'm going to be demoing. Oh, I'm so nervous. I've never done telly sewing before, so... Please just send me all the luck in the world because you know what it's like. Telly sewing is very different to sewing at home. Uh, well, that's what I've been told. So please, sewing machine, be kind to me today. That's coming up at 10 o'clock. Uh, early bird. Those of you that are uh, 
up nice and early with us, then you are about to benefit. Open your order nice and early because we're about to do the most incredible price on your beautiful springtime fat quarters. Now, here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight fat quarters there. They're absolutely gorgeous, perfect for spring, really beautiful quality cotton. Uh, and we could say, right, there you go, brilliant prize. But you're going to get both of these doubled up. Loads of fabric, keeping us uh, keeping us going over the next few weeks, few months. We are spending a bit more time, of course, at home. Well, a lot more time at home than we possibly normally would. So maybe you're starting out sewing. Maybe you're wanting to get children involved in sewing, and you don't want them rooting into your Liberty stash. Are you ready? The price on this is amazing, especially for the early bird. We always start the day eight o'clock with an extra special saving. This is a really special saving. <laughs> There you go, £19.98 for both. That is a saving of £6 to start the day. So you can open your order, you can shop all day long. You've spotted the rainbow panels back as well. I know that Hayley updated you in the, uh, uh, the, the newsletter. Uh, she updated you with a newsletter telling you we're going to bring that back. So if you do love these rainbow colours, it makes it £1.00. 33 a fat quarter. Now, I've got one that's opened over here, so let me show you what a fat quarter looks like. For anybody that's new, it's so beautiful as well. It's quite a lightweight cotton, which I love. So if you are sewing with, uh, with children or getting, uh, you know, somebody who's new into sewing, the price, the value is fantastic. So, that's what a fat quarter looks like. It's half of your half metre, and they're just such beautiful colours, aren't they? We've got a book that I'm going to do next, which is from Wendy Gardner, and I've been teasing this for the last three days. I keep looking in it saying, I want to make this and want to make this. People are multi-buying on this. I'm not surprised. Stock up and what a lovely little gift. I like how they're wrapped up in a little ribbon as well. We're constantly seeing, um, well, you don't need to, to look very far to see beautiful rainbows in everybody's window. I'm thinking these are just such, you could make a beautiful rainbow design, couldn't you, in these lovely springtime colours? Or, in fact, let me have a look. Are you out in the garden? It's gonna be 20 something degrees again tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Third of the stock has already gone, by the way. A third of the stock has already gone, I'm not surprised. Fat quarters, you think, you know, it's, not that much fabric. Oh my word, it is. We've got books that are dedicated to just solely using fat quarters. I found, um, I should have noted down the page of it. I should have noted down the page really, but it was near the back. Uh, there you go. Uh, a gardener's apron. I thought this would be so lovely for everybody who's getting out into the, into the sunshine, doing a bit of gardening, to make your own little gardening um, apron. There's so many in this book. We're going to go through this properly in a minute, but uh, just a bit of a heads up on that one as well. Saving six pounds, remember, on both of these fat quarters. You've got pink, you've got a lovely uh, lighter pink, you've got a coral, greens, blues, purples. Right, there's three left. There's three of those left. Well done, everybody who's opened their order. Remember, you can continue to shop all day long and you'll still only pay one PMP. Now, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to do it just yet because I want to warn everybody. I just mentioned it at the start of the show. We have got extra, 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 extra wide. I mean, it's really wide. That is a lot, a lot of fabric. I've pinned it to the end of the mannequin and, and we're going to have a look. We'll uh, have a look in more detail at half past eight. But the reason, the reason that I wanted to show you is because the price on this I think it's wrong. It's not wrong because we bought it back, so I'm sure they would have changed the price. But it's the most incredible price. It's called quilt backing, but actually I'm thinking for cushions, for dressmaking, for soft furnishing, for, for, for anything, for just to be able to have so much fabric. You'll see the price. If you know, you know. If you know, you'll know. Okay, let's have a look at the book that we were looking through. I went to just go and get it. I've already got it. It's from Wendy Gardner. Uh, I know our John Cole Morgan loves Wendy Gardner. Um, I don't think, I'm, well, John, do you know her personally? Uh, I, I know that he said he, I, he sees her at all of the shows, um, but she's amazing with doing books that have got lots of projects for everybody. 
these are quite quick projects, you know. These are great projects that I think you could either send in the post to friends, maybe you need to just cheer somebody up and send as a gift or make something for your own home that's going to be really useful. So, at the start of the book, it goes through all of your different projects. There's 16 different projects. Uh, it talks about what is a fat quarter. And I know that's, uh, for a lot of us, we all know. But actually, um, when I first started, all of these sort of words are like, well, hang on, what does that actually mean? Fat quarter is half of a half meter, but it talks you through and also tips along the way what you're going to need. The tools. Sewing machine, essential toolkit. Uh, I did see on the, the Facebook fan page actually a lady who was saying, right, I'm starting out. What is essential and what's a sort of luxury or a gadget or what's going to help me? So I, I like the fact that this goes through your essentials and then what's going to be a bit more helpful or what you could invest in to make it a, a bit less uh, time consuming. So then your techniques throughout. I like that this is a book in itself, really, just the start before you get to the projects. Talking about buttonholes, talking about finishing your seams, talking about patchwork, half square triangles, pinwheels, quilting, tips along the way and really lovely clear photographs quilt as you go applique free motion even you've got some free motion so this is a book that I would actually say for anybody that's new it's very in-depth with all your techniques but also it's going to grow with you twin needling how decorative twin needling can look if you use some of your decorative stitches adding trims bias binding how to go around curves we've got some lovely uh, cushions we've got oven gloves in here adding a zip so these are all transferable skills that are going to be great for this book but also that are just going to set you up for your sewing journey then we dive into the good part your projects little cafetiere cozy oh who was it that was saying that they drink lots and lots of coffee was it you joe does liam drink lots of coffee I've been drinking so much tea. I just love a cup of tea. I haven't had one. That, well, I did have one this morning, but I haven't had one. We, I, Joe was moaning that Debbie Shaw makes him a cup of coffee in the morning. It's because I'm too busy prepping. I don't have charts. I haven't been into the kitchen, to be fair. I've come into the building and literally come straight here. I was, I've, bought my own, um, I've bought my own big... I'm trying to drink more water, so I've bought this, which is huge. <laughs> trying to get my intake of water. Um, your reversible placemat, coasters. I oh, know, I can drink the cocktails. Yeah, absolutely. Jugs of sangria any day. Oven gloves. Oh, look at this. I made my own sangria last week. I saw it on uh, somebody's Facebook and I thought, what a great idea. A jug of sangria in the sun. I felt like I honestly felt like I was abroad sitting outside in the garden. And I thought, oh, it's just such a, an awful very, very difficult time we're in, but we've got to make the most of it. Haven't we been able to sit out in the garden with some sangria? Very nice. Um, I also spoke about yesterday wanting to uh, revamp my kitchen after spending hours cleaning my oven last week. So that's a lovely project. Being able to, to make sort of using decorative, uh, using your embroidery hoops as a decorative feature in your workroom. How lovely is that to be able to add lovely trims to keep your bits and bobs? We're always losing our little scissors, aren't we? Um, your flower power pillow. What, Debbie Shaw makes you a coffee whilst you're, what do you mean? Hmm? Hannah, what does Hannah say? Oh, I thought you meant Hannah saying, where's my cup of tea and coffee? Because she's uh, at home, working from home, producing the show today. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, your coiled fabric bowl. These are very, very on trend. I'm seeing these lots and lots in, our, in more interior stores. You know, we went through a time where big plastic furniture, let's face it, like your whole... Uh, pop-up furniture was very, very popular and just... But now, as we're sort of... We're, it's always been popular, but... It's getting more and more prevalent, isn't it? Talking about sustainability and being able to, to, to reuse and upcycle. So I love the fact these, these coiled fabric bowls are really easy to make, actually, really easy to make. And, uh, and very, very, well, that would cost you more than 10 pounds, surely. They're cool, we need one of those for our Huawei. 
a little phone, a tablet. So they're nice gift ideas. Maybe if you don't know what to make uh, a, a grandson or granddaughter or somebody who's, you know, going to university or everyone's got tablets and phones nowadays, haven't they? Uh, just to prop them up, I saw a video yesterday on YouTube of how to look good when you're on Zoom. So don't have it like this this angle, have it like this. So I need some sort of stand because yesterday I was sewing along whilst I was chatting to um, to everybody and uh, they, and I had my phone at the wrong angle and I thought, oh my word, I'm, I saw a video popped up, you know, when they know what you're thinking, don't they? The, uh, the Google, they know what you're thinking. You can think something and then something pops up as an advert. Right. Um, not long, by the way, not long until we do the extra wide backing fabric. Speaking of extra wide, I'm not going to do it just yet, but nine o'clock, this is back. Every time that we've launched this, it has sold out. Now, our management have been so, so, so kind to be able to do this at the special price again for you, um, which was only supposed to be the first time round. But of course, a lot of people are asking for rainbow fabric. As I say, we're seeing lots of rainbows in everybody's windows. It's just brightening up our days at the moment, which is what we all need. So I think this is beautiful. The price on it is brilliant. It's coming up at nine o'clock. It sold out very, very quick on Monday, very quick. If you got the early bird, by the way, this would be a nice little addition, compliment beautifully. Or you could make quite a quick quilt actually with this, couldn't you? Especially if you've got your extra wide backing and you're not needing to piece your backing. We're gonna do it at half eight. I don't know what has gone on whilst I haven't been here over the last three weeks, but those of you that know me, I'll always talk about the early bird as being uh, one off special in the morning that then if it sells out then it's gone that day um, but if it comes back it won't be at that early bird special price there is something that's gone on that i've spotted on the website i've spotted on the website some of these early birds so i said to hannah this has been on the shelf for the last few days since i've been back and i love these and i looked on the website and saw it still said early bird price so i said to hannah hannah are we allowed to bring it on air? Because it's on the website, that price. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I did it with the uh, with the Solan glue pens and they completely sold out. So if you do want another little early bird, maybe uh, if you're just tuning in right now, you're a little late to the party, let's give you an early bird special. It's a £5 saving. Are you ready to see the magic? So it's a lovely hexagonal box. All, I love the detail with all the embroidery on it. But then... Oh, you can look. Oh, yeah, the arms and legs move on the bee. <laughs> Joe wanted me to show you that. But look at this, how it folds out. This is amazing. So you've got places for, and you get everything that's in here, by the way. We haven't just filled it to show you what you can do. Everything that you can see there, it comes with. So it comes with a beautiful pair of embroidery snips. How nice are they in detailed? You've also got your tape measure, we, or you can't have enough of those. Brilliant to be able to have that. You've also got my best friend, Seam Ripper. <laughs> you've got your needle threader. You've got some thread. Uh, you've also got another little pocket, an extra pocket to put whatever you want in there with a lovely little B. Uh, and you're getting a couple of pins in there, but you've got a lovely pin cushion in the centre. How nice is that? Again, as a gift for somebody, that is beautiful and it's really lovely quality. £17.99. I had a bit of a check this morning online. I can't find anyone else that is selling it less than 23.99 that's the price of it and that should be the price here um, today but i spotted it on the website and i did say to hannah look come on can we just sneak it in can we just sneak it in it's on the website can we put it into the poll and give everybody a chance for anybody that might have missed this on the website i know at the moment because we haven't got our full jazzy website yet we're working on it at the moment we're borrowing jewelry makers it means that we are having to sort of go through the pages to look at all the products you can't just sort of search as as we as we're going to be able to in the future but um if you miss this one those of you that did spot a couple of early birds that are still on the website there's a couple on there have a look have a look today because uh they shouldn't be they shouldn't be 17 pounds 99 10 minutes, we can't, by the way, already people checking out on the extra wide backing fabrics. Have you seen the price of it? Have you seen the price on the web? Have a look now and grab as much as you can because they will all sell out, they will all sell out. Can I show you some of the uh, colors? 
We've got the red, which I've just opened out. We've got the green, which I'll do first. We've got the uh, the light grey, the dark grey. And I think this one's new. But I've not seen this colour. Do you know what, though? These are all going to go with so much that you've... So much in your stash. So maybe you've got some of these uh, UFOs, these unfinished projects, uh, and you're waiting to back them, and you're thinking, I don't want to raid my stash to piece them. Make sure you wait to see the price on those. Or have a look on the web. Uh, right, where are we going now, Joe? Are we doing the Rose and Hubble? Oh, no, we haven't finished with the uh, our lovely bees. We can do these other bits and bobs now as well. Uh, so if you did just get the early bird special and you're thinking, oh, I like the bag to go with. This is a nice wool bag, isn't it? My friend um, is a bit obsessed with Tom Daly. Absolutely loves Tom Daly. And Tom Daly keeps posting all over social media at the minute that he's really, really into knitting. He's knitting everything. Um, this is a lovely knitting bag, isn't it? Just a nice little drawstring bag. I, uh, well, to go in your workroom or your craft room, it looks beautiful. But also, if you don't have a workroom or a craft room, if you're on the move or if you have it in your lounge, then this looks lovely just for in your in the garden or in the lounge, doesn't it? When you're out doing a bit of uh, knitting or sewing or crochet, just sixteen pounds ninety nine for the drawstring bag. It's really lovely quality. And then we've also got the pin cushion. Got to have the set. It just will look so nice on your work desk, won't it? Having your uh, your hexi and then also having your little uh, your little beehive pin cushion. Can you hear uh, him trotting around? Thank you, Joe. Oh, look at the little door. There's such beautiful detail for nine pounds ninety nine. That's a lovely gift for somebody. On my walk, um, I'm, it's so, it, it is actually really good to, to walk out your door without driving anywhere and finding all these new little walks for your, for your daily walk. And we're walking along this path and there was um, a house and I could see in the garden they had loads of beehive huts. How cool is that? Hannah said she found a bee and she was quickly Googling to see what to do because it looked like it was struggling and, and then it flew off. <laughs> It's like, actually, I don't, want my, I don't want any help from you. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> so, no, it flew off. It's sugar and water, isn't it? Oh. Okay, £9.99. Should we do Tilda's next? As we were looking at the Fat Quarter book, um, we've got two Fat Quarters and we've also got a charm pack, actually. Let's start with the Fat Quarters. I've got the coral. I've got coral here. They look like they're... Uh, fat eighths. They are fat quarters, so they're the same size as the, the early bird. I don't want to open these because they are really, really beautiful. <laughs> all, all folded nicely. £14.99 and you're getting five of your Lazy Days Tilda Fat Quarters. How beautiful are they? Oh, go on, open them up. Can we remember the names of these, Joe? There's Eleanor. There is Alison, Philippa, Deborah, Sue. <laughs> it's so strange, you know. When I spoke about that a couple of weeks ago on air, oh, I then got in the car and it was on the radio, and then somebody else I heard mention it on the telly, and I was like, this is so weird. I haven't... It's called a song for whoever, isn't it? Beautiful South. And then it was in your quiz, wasn't it? <gasps> Look at this. So that's a fat quarter. But I love the ditzy print because if you're doing EPP, those of you that got involved in the show yesterday, or if you managed to get your glue pen, why not indulge in some beautiful Tildes? Oh, I know, if you're one of the lucky few that got the uh, glue pen yesterday, because um, for our EPP show, we were really, really limited. Thanks to Hannah. Oh, gosh, I, I know, everybody wants their uh, EPP ready for the sunshine, don't they, sitting in the garden? How was um, Kat, by the way? Because yesterday, we'll see her tomorrow. Um, she's going to be uh, in with John, is it tomorrow? Yeah. Debbie tomorrow. She'll be in with Debbie tomorrow. And she was sitting out in the garden and I was chatting to her uh, and she says, I am sewing, by the way. I'm still sewing because she was watching the show and I said she's always sewing. She's always doing her EPP. It looks brilliant. It's grown so much. She's done loads and loads and loads and loads. And she's got a little tub with all her hexes all ready to sew. She was sitting out. But my word, we all were going, 
Kat, you need to go inside. You look really red. You've had too much sun today. She was like, I can't believe the time. I've literally just been sitting, stitching in the sunshine. All the beautiful Tilda's great for, um, she says I did put sun cream on. Is she watching now? £14.99. You do need to remember to put sun cream on. I think because we're in April, we think, oh no, but... So what do you mean some Aussie special Australian? Oh, it's only sold in Australia. Oh, I was supposed to be going to Australia this month. <laughs> right, let's do the blues. There's always next year. There's always next time. £14.99. Let's all go together. Let's go on a big road trip. All of us, I'm talking to you at home, everyone. We're all going. Laura, Laura's already planning her holiday, isn't she, for the end of the year? She's like, come on, we're all going away. We've all got to take advantage of being able to go somewhere. It would be so nice to be able to just say, let's explore. Um, oh, right, the, the red, the brown, and the dark grey, the black, they've already started selling on the web. There's a lot of people who are already adding metres to their basket on the web. So remember, you can just, they're, they're going to be cut off the bolt for you. So you can buy as much as you want and you'll come joined up. Uh, your Tilda Lazy Days range, probably one of the most popular. You've seen such beautiful cushions, even with just this fat quarter pack. If you're adding in, have a look on the web, maybe for a, a solid uh, ivory or cream or one of the blues or... If you bought the early bird, some of these colours are going to look lovely as well, aren't they? Maybe some of your blues are going to work really, really well. Or your coral is going to look nice with that one. Let me um, show you. That's going to look really beautiful. Or your pinks. Yeah, good idea, Joe. £14.99. I told you he's multitasking today. Don't peak already. It's only half past eight. Right, should we do the charm pack? 45 inch squares, so you get two of each design. Uh, these are lovely. Oh, we've got later on, have you seen the little mini stripology? So if you want to do some really lovely quick cutting with these, stay tuned for the stripology because your stripology is designed to use with fat quarters or, or, or your charm pack. £14.99. It's all right, Joe. It's all right, honestly. I'm allowed to stretch forward. It's not, I'm trying to um, angle that because we haven't got anybody on cameras today. We're just just me and Joe. We're trying to. Um... That's better for me, please. <laughs> I was having to reach too far forward. <laughs> Is everyone doing their fabric fitness, by the way? Has anybody got any ideas of what we can add into our fitness DVD VHS? It is a VHS. Um, I've managed to find my microphone like this, so we're ready. Do, do, do. My Britney mic. £40.99, 45 inch charm packs. That's very, very limited now, by the way. Extremely limited. Oh yeah, there's loads of ideas of what we can do. Doing lifting the sewing machine up and down. Oh gosh. Right. It's time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the green. Uh, I'm not going to open them all out because I can't open them all out. I, I wish I had. Like, remember Stretch Armstrong? Hannah remembers Stretch Armstrong because Hannah's. Did Hannah, you, Hannah, did your dad buy it for your mum for Christmas like a couple of years ago? I didn't even know you could get them still, but she really likes Stretch Armstrong. Um, so, I'm not going to open them all out, but I'll open the red one so you can see in a minute. Um, I've pinned it to the mannequin so I can just do a, a, a little whip, a little stretch. But, this is all about price. If you know, you know. You know, we know, you know, we know, they know, we know. They don't know we know we know. I can't even remember how it goes. Right, so half a metre is going to be by the half metre. And the reason that I'm stressing that is because you're not going to believe that you get a full half metre. That is half of it. That is half of it. Um, oh, Hannah bought it for a mum for a, for a Stretch Armstrong. 
but <laughs> we've got a bit of a satellite delay between our messages because Hannah's working from home. Um, but this is going to be amazing, even for the front of your quilt, if you want to practice maybe your free motion, if you want to use it for cushions, if you want to use it for soft furnishing, if you want to use it to back your quilts, maybe you, you know, you're struggling to find extra wide backing fabric. Um, at the moment, for obvious reasons, uh, it's very, very difficult getting uh, new stock in and new supply in. Get what you can whilst you can. Um, we're really lucky that we do, I know that we're still only very small here, but we do have a warehouse, we do have a big warehouse, so we're able to stock, as you can imagine, they come on massive bolts. So, it's gorgeous quality cotton. We launched the channel, uh, gosh, how long ago was it now? A couple of months ago. 14th of February, wasn't it? So it was a couple of months ago now. Um, and we, when we launched, one of the first things that we wanted to get in was extra wide backing fabric. Prior to this, I've never seen extra wide backing fabric anywhere near this price. Are you ready? For the green, which is already selling, you can get half a metre for $8.99. Don't ask how, don't ask why, just buy it. If you missed this before, because this sold straight away and we haven't seen it for weeks and weeks and weeks, it's back in stock. I don't even know if we've seen the green before. It's 108 inches wide. It's that gorgeous Baroque style. How amazing is this going to look with some of your liberties, the Edwardian feel? It's such a stash filler. Isn't it? Even if you're fussy cutting, oh, cat, you're not going to run out of any fabric if you want to do some EPP with this, are you? Just mixing it in with some solids, mixing it in maybe with even your fat quarters and, and EPP or cushion fronts, cushion backs, backing quilts, unfinished projects I'm seeing in, oh my word, galore on the, the Facebook fan page. Everyone's saying, I'm finally back to this quilt. I've finally uh, binded this quilt. What about doing binding with this? There's so much that you're going to be able to do. Rather than having to, to raid your stash or to piece, uh, you know, piece it together, or I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of quilts that are on chairs or on sofas, on the beds, that you fold them over. So you've got the, the back looking beautiful as well. 108 inches wide, but remember, now is your chance to stock up and get as much as you want by the half metre. So you can have uh, a metre that's going to be continuous, it's going to be cut off the bolt especially for you. You just need to add two units to your order. But if you've never bought from us before, trust me, have a go. You have got oodles and oodles of fabric. Bearing in mind, just your regular 112 inches wide, which is your regular quilting weight cotton width, um, would normally be like this sort of price anyway. So you're getting double this, double that. I'm, I've folded it in half. It is double that. Maybe if, look, I could skip with this. It's so big. Well, I couldn't. It's too, um, it's too, it's too long. Look at this. So it looks nice actually. Do you know what? It does, it looks nice with the rainbow, which I wouldn't have thought to put it with that. But it does work, right. This isn't the best way of showing you, but look at how much fabric you're getting. It's gone off the screen. There is so much fabric. There's loads and loads and loads of you there. Absolutely loads of you there. I'm really not surprised. It's so lovely to, to have your company. Do make sure that you are, you're checking out your baskets as soon as you can. It's only one PMP throughout the whole of the day. Told you the price is good. Told you the price is good. Right, let's do another color. Already people stocking up on the red. So, I've pinned half of it to the mannequin because I, I want to show you just how much fabric you're getting. It's the same price. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it is the same price. So, how many cushion backs could you do? I mean, you could just do so, so much with this. I'm also thinking for dressmakers. Extra wide, look at that. Still, Joe, it's still like... If you take the graphics out for a sec, would you be able to see it? Look, there you go. That is how wide it is. It, it's hard to tell on television. It's got such beautiful detail. And this is going to be great for you, maybe traditional red and white quilting, maybe for you, with your Moda, maybe with your William Morris. £8.99 a half metre, and it is huge. We didn't think that we'd be able to bring it back at this price point. Uh, and 
any extra wide backing fabric that we've had at this price point has sold out very, very quickly. Uh, this is now down to 15 metres. The red's now down to 15 metres. It will sell out. It will sell out. If you want to get one of the best, in terms of value for money, fabric for your money, doesn't get better than that, does it? £8.99 is normally priced for a normal 112 um, width fabric, quality weight fabric. And it is gorgeous quality cotton. But I do think it says quilt backing fabric. Think outside the box. What about soft furnishings? Whoops. What about uh, bag making? How many bags you're going to be able to make as well? There is so much for your money. It just goes on and on. Eight pounds, 99 and a half meter. I'm not surprised that a lot of people are taking advantage of the fact that you can multiply. It's going to be cut off the bolt, especially for you, uh, to whatever size you want. It just reminds me of like a quilt pattern. I can imagine some beautiful free motion quilting on top of this. The shade and the detail is lovely, isn't it? Just £8.99, 108 inches wide. Well, and everybody who's taken advantage of that crazy, crazy price. If you uh, have been watching from the start of, of the channel, then you'll remember me saying, price is definitely wrong. It slipped through the net and we said, oh, well, we'll go with it. And it completely sold out. So when um, we noticed it was back in stock, bit crazy, bit crazy. Really good to be able to stock up your stash though. Right. Pardon? Is that gone? This is what worries me about having everything on the website before we even go live, is that that, I haven't even had a chance to show it on air. Don't wait. If you know that you want the dark grey, that one's already sold out. So if you want the dark grey, just go for it. Okay, are we doing the dark grey now or the brown? Let's go to this one. It's called black. It's like lovely shades of deep uh, sort of steel grey. It's lovely, like gunmetal grey. It's beautiful. So this is going to go with everything. Some really quite modern quilts. And I mean, why not use it for the front of your quilt even? That's lovely, isn't it? Very, very dramatic. See, I am thinking dressmakers with this one. Thinking dressmakers, bag makers. <laughs> The price just looks wrong. I keep seeing the graphics come live. Eight ninety nine. I feel like I need a megaphone. Stand at the on the rooftop and shout. Come on, everybody needs to know that this bargain is happening. Could you imagine if um, you're at Festival of Quilts or you're at one of the the you know the the exhibition shows, and somebody has got a stall and they've just got eight ninety nine extra wide backing fabric? It would just be chaos there it would be like a free-for-all can you imagine you're sitting at home you can call from the comfort of your sofa or your bed if you're still what are you doing have you got a cup of tea are you sitting out maybe and watching us on the tablet or on or on your phone uh, this is such a great way shopping from the comfort and the safety of your own home and it will be delivered to you our, at the moment our, our warehouse team are, are working as safely but as efficiently and as quickly as possible to be able to make sure that you can um <laughs> to be able to make sure that, that you get your products as soon as you can to keep busy we understand that it's a really really difficult time uh, for us all it really is very very challenging but just having that bit of mindfulness and time to, to do some sewing, finish some of your projects. Oh, spring cleaning, it just feels nice, doesn't it? To just sort through things, get things finished. Maybe you're doing some gifts for people or you're thinking ahead even for Christmas makes. There's so much that you're gonna be able to use these for. At that price point, I'd even say, just for your stash, for bag linings, or, I mean, there's, there's so many options with this. Just £8.99. Can't go wrong for so much fabric. Just to remind you again, that is the same width as the one that I've just shown. It's 108 inches wide, which I'm not sure how much is that in centimetres. 270 something centimetres? 108 inches. Joe's having a look. <laughs> 274, 274 inches, sorry, centimetres. So, um, that is a lot of fabric. We love that. Okay, now, again, another really lovely traditional colourway. 
Let's go with the brown. Red is down to seven metres. If you want the red, it's down to now seven metres. That is another one that is going to sell out today. Gosh, I don't even know if we've had these back. I've not seen these. Well, I have been off for three weeks, but I have, I have been watching a lot and I've not seen them. Black, there's five metres left. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Debbie. Sorry, John, because I know that um, I'm kind of... I've, I've really raided the stock. But obviously, I haven't been here for three weeks, so I'm pushing all the buttons and saying, please, 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 can I just see this? Because I haven't seen this yet. This is a brand new colorway, never been to air before. Uh, uh, we've matched the price, we've honored the price that we did, which is absolutely crazy. Eight pounds 99 for your brown Baroque, 108 inch wide backing fabric. What's that, sorry? Yeah, this is qu quilting, weight, quilting weight cotton, yeah. Um, it is just bonkers. <laughs> the thing is, I've got, I'm really, really lucky that I've got a quilting store in my town. I live in um, Warwick and in the centre of the square, well, down, down the street, down Smith Street, there is Quilter's Den uh, and they've got lots of fabric. I don't, I can't recall if they've got any extra wire backing fabric. It's only a small shop, so I mean I love that shop and I love going routing through. It's lovely to be able to go in and see, uh, see it personally and if you do have uh, a local quilter shop, absolutely support them and, and go and have it. It's nice to have a chat, isn't it? It's really nice. And they run great workshops as well. Uh, that, so they really took me under, the, my wing, uh, under their wing to teach me how to, to sew and to do patchwork, which is, is brilliant. I'm forever grateful for them. Um, but let's face it, they don't have the space to stock as much fabric as we do, especially the bolts that these come on are huge. So to have the array of colours, you might find a store that might have a colour or, you know, even online shops, they just don't have the space to store them. So we're really, really lucky that we can do that and we will try and get extra wide backing fabrics in again. Can't guarantee it will ever be these prices though. They're normally double this really, aren't they? Two and a half metres of the black and stock update. Uh, Hannah, how about the red? Hannah's working from home, so uh, I'm just asking her, but it might take a couple of minutes for the, um, the response. This is beautiful. Eight pounds, 99, a half metre for your brown Baroque, 108 inch wide. Brand new, remember this colour, brand new. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? It is so lovely and it's six metres of the red left. Six metres of the red left. Just 8 99 Do you want me to open this one out? Shall I pin it across? Because it's new. We want to see it in all, of its, in all its glory. Um, brown, there's only five metres left. There's only five metres left now of the brown. Oh, sorry. It's like one of those um, clown cars, isn't it? You know, when it just keeps going and more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Can't really fit on this, the set. It's literally as wide as our set is from one wall to the other. That's crazy, isn't it? £8.99 for all of that fabric. I even like that as a, you know, the front of a quilt. I think that's lovely. Mix it with some of your creams as well. I do like the patterns. I think the detail in this is beautiful and it is 100% cotton quilting weight, machine washable. Okay, brand new. That color is brand new for eight pounds 99. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, well done, everybody who's made the most of those because I honestly did not think that we would ever, ever, ever be able to get those back in anywhere near that price. Uh, we will try and get some more colours, we'll try and get some more extra right backing fabrics. I can't guarantee that we'll ever be able to get them at these prices. <gasps> right, okay. I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated on the stock levels of those as we go through the show. But this is coming up at nine. Um, you saw what happened with the light grey there. This has been, I'm going to say it, the most popular panel that we've ever had. 
and, and understandably so, especially at the moment. Uh, we've had so many people message in and say, please, 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 can we get any more of these? Because they sold out really early on uh, and we did it because we did it at a special price. We're going to redo it again at the same special price at nine o'clock. Um, but it is already on the website if you want to take advantage of it. Just to give you a bit of a heads up if you're looking on the web, uh, our panels normally are £19.99. Panels like this, the jelly roll or design roll uh, panels that we've had like this are £19.99. This one you can see is a lot lower. Make the most of it. We just wanted to do a couple of really special cheer us up um, products today and this certainly is one of them so thank you very much for the team for speedily being able to get back more back in stock to meet the demand coming up at nine o'clock uh, but as i say you can start shopping for that on the web now rose and hubble these are so beautiful i love the ditzy stars and the the large stars now these are a poplin weight uh these are poplin weight so they are oh no it's this one isn't it the let's go with the big stars cerise so the poplin weight, this is quilting cotton. This is um, quilting weight. So that one's just a slightly lighter weight. I love these. They are so bright, aren't they? I'm thinking of storage boxes, for bags, for wash bags, for bunting. This is really fun. And look at the price. Get sewing with children. Yeah, get, get, the, get somebody else involved, maybe who, who, who's never started sewing before. I just think that that is really... Cool. I love that a lot. Thinking for cushions, for teenagers' bedrooms, for curtains or blinds. You just get again, like with the extra wide backing fabric, the value for money is fantastic. So this one, just so I can show you um, the width, is 112 inches wide. That's how wide it is. That is half a metre. Uh, so if you are buying by the half metre, whoops, if you want more than, uh, if you're maybe doing dressmaking, if you want two metres, you need to add four units to your basket if you want um, one meter, two units, so on and so forth. It goes up on a sort of linear scale, half by the half meter. Three pounds ninety nine. It's just such a lovely bright color. Oh, Joe wants me to do my uh, fit fabric fitness. Hold the fabric. Fold the fabric. Right. We've also got, well, the rainbow of colour, really. We've got red, pink, we've got blue, yellow, grey. Red next. I'm just thinking like little backpacks. Little backpacks would look so cool. Oh, Joe wants to make a bandana. What about some of the pet projects that we had in the book from yesterday? Like little collars and leads and... Um, like a little dog bed or cat bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Three pounds ninety-nine for your cotton poplin stars. Um, if you are after any of the, sorry, I'm just gonna put some hand gel on. If you are after any of the extra wide backing fabrics, head to the web, head to the web, or speak to the customer service team. There still are literally limited stock now. I've got the bright light pink. I'm trying to fold these as nicely as they, they came out earlier and I'm not doing too well. There we go. Oh, little baby girl maybe. Gosh, that is so pretty, isn't it? Lovely, delicate. These would be nice for lampshade covers, actually, because the light would shine f through the stars so beautifully. £3.99. You've still got those glow-in-the-dark stars in your room, haven't you, Joe? Obviously. £3.99. Could I just have a sip of my water? Sorry, Joe. I'm going to put a little tickle. <clears throat> three pounds 99 a half meter and again for dressmaking quilting for patchwork for soft furnishing for bag making toy making who's making little outfits for their toys as well maybe you've got some of the um the toy projects it's just so pretty really delicate color 
and they all look lovely together. Let's go for the blue. <laughs> I know, I remember the order, Joe. We're very prepared, aren't we? So who's it tomorrow? Debbie. Debbie and Kat are in with you tomorrow. £3.99 once again. Oh, sorry, there's a little bit of, little bit of thread. Half a metre for £3.99, your pale blue stars. It's so lovely and soft, I must say as well. Oh, this is your poplin weight. This is your cotton poplin. £3.99. It is slightly lighter weight than some of the quilting cottons. Not obviously, hence why I didn't, I hadn't noticed, but it is um, a slightly sort of lighter weight. I think this would be really lovely for, for dressmaking for that reason. Little purses or, um, or makeup bags, toiletry bags. Baby boy. Karen's sister still hasn't had her baby yet. Still waiting. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I think she's tried everything, all the eating spicy food. She's just getting really fed up now. She's really, um, she says, I can't, she's got a little, um, little boy as well. She's like, I can't pick Seb up. I can't tie my shoes up. I can't do anything. She's like, I'm really getting fed up now. I made her a little baby shower video. It's so funny. I was just showing um, Joe before. Well, Joe was helping me to do all the techie things. Like, I can't upload it to send it. I'm not very good. I don't know why I've committed to doing this, but... No, it's really nice. Okay, £3.99 for your yellow stars. Yeah, Joe's like our in-house te uh, tech support. And when I say like in-house at work, I also mean at home. Kieran said to me yesterday, Vic, do you, do you need to keep asking Joe all these questions? I'm like, yeah, I need to ask Joe. If there's anything wrong with anything, the remote control's not working. Hang on, let me just ring Joe. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be able to help us. £3.99. Half a metre of those lovely bright yellow stars, that sunshine colour. Oh, get this with your rainbow, maybe. What about with your rainbow panel? Joe's just making me do a little dance. That would look lovely with your panel, wouldn't it? Or I'm thinking also with your early bird. Oh, they just, are they sold out now, I think? I presume they will have sold out. But if you've got them, if you've got them, all of these are going to look really good with those. We've got the grey. The light grey of the, the Baroque sold very, very quickly. So I've got a feeling the Rose and Hubble grey are going to go equally as fast. Let's do it next. It's called silver on the graphics. It's like a lovely, um, very next at home or mamas and poppers or John Lewis, isn't it? Look at this. Unisex babies. I know that, um, you know, a lot of, if, um, if you're not sure of the, the sex of the baby, well, in fact, even if you do know, I know a lot of nurseries that are doing this sort of yellow and gray together. Three pounds, 99 and a half metre. It is your poplin weight cotton, silver stars. Just three pounds, 99. The stars are coming out tonight. Oh gosh, we were singing Frozen all day yesterday. Ben, who works as part of Jewelry Maker, he was so annoyed. He could hear us and he was like, that song is stuck in my head because their office is not, is not too far from us. And he's like, I could hear you singing Frozen. Um, Joe then did go home and watch Frozen yesterday, didn't you? What did you think? Marks out of 10, you enjoyed it. Solid 8 out of 10. Oh, it was good. He says that uh, Liam then came home and he was sat much, he went on a bit of a, a Disney marathon and started watching Moana, <laughs> which is one of his favourites. £3.99. I've just noticed my hair's a bit wild today, isn't it? Sorry, I haven't, um, 
I know, it looks like I have brushed my hair this morning. But um, Jojo said, I wondered whether you were going to brush your hair today. We haven't got like a preview monitor, so I'm just looking directly like at a camera. I'm not looking at the screen, but I did just have a glance at the screen and notice that all oh, my hair's wild. <laughs> Sorry. Right. The Ditsy Stars. We'll go for the Lavender. This is Lavender Ditsy Stars. We're Lavender Ditsy Stars. Oh, look at that. Really pretty. So if you are doing smaller piecing, this is perfect for if you're doing uh, smaller piecing, aren't they? Rose and Hubble. Again, it is your poplin weight, so slightly lighter weight. Lovely for dressmaking as well for £3.99. <laughs> oh no! Right, for everybody who I've said, right, the panel's coming up at nine. I apologise because I'm going to have to bring it forward. It's going to sell out. It is going to sell out. We'll do it after these. We'll whiz through these and then we'll do it before the, uh, before the break. What's the time now? Oh, it's 5 2. Right, we're going to have to do this. Oh, do you want to just do it now, Hannah? Okay, let's do that and then we can come back to these fabrics. Um, we could even do it in the next hour, couldn't we? Right, because we've got loads to do today. Right, the rainbow panel is back in stock. Are you ready? Graphics are about to come live and as soon as they do, go for it because they're already selling out on the web. Go for it, Joe. $14.99 special price back. Only while stocks last. Two and a half inch strips, your rainbow jelly, jelly roll fabric panel. Uh, you've got your little uh, spaces between as well. A bit of wiggle room if you're cutting between. Ombre right from reds to oranges to greens to those lovely lime greens, your blues, your purples. Where's he going? There you go. Greens and blues right through to that deep, lovely purple for 14 pounds and 99 pence. You've got so much for your money. Normally, as I said earlier on, our, uh, your quilting weight cotton is 112. This is 140. 112 centimeters wide normally, this is 140. So it's extra wide, loads of fabric, and lots that you can do with two and a half inch strips, actually. Um, if you've got any Pamaniki Lintot designs, or um, a lot of quilting books actually will, will call for two and a half inch strips, but remember then you could subcut them into squares, into to triangles. We're seeing lots of lovely rainbows out at the moment, of course, all for our amazing National Health Service. And um, if you want to, Maybe, as I know, a lot of people are on the fan page making lots of rainbow projects to put in their window. Or even just to stock up your stash. If you're looking at it as a rainbow, always also think of it as just your blues, your nautical colours, or your springtime sort of greens and yellows. Even your red, maybe for Christmas projects. You don't necessarily need to use it as a rainbow. What about cutting it across the bias? What about making stripy binding, keeping the white strips in? It's going to sell out. It's about to sell out. Winter Single Figures is about to sell out. I'll update you after the break. It's definitely worth speaking to the customer service team and finding out availability. I'm going to bring those other Rose and Hubble fabrics back in a few minutes. We've still got loads of workroom tools, more fabrics and more amazing prices coming up right after this. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it and when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is Positive or negative, always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different take on things, and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun. Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you, because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview channel 74, Sky channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street, where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hello, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you're all really, I hope you're all enjoying the show, first of all. I hope you're all safe and well. Please do make sure that you're staying in, sewing, sending in your pictures, getting in touch with us. Uh, and if you, if you are on your own at the moment, or if you're, uh, you know, not everybody's into sewing in your household, use us as a community, talk to everybody on the fan page, come on in and just say hello to us. It's really important, more now more than ever, that we're all interactive. Uh, send me a message on Facebook. I know I've been chatting to, to quite a few of you, so please do send in messages. Uh, we're all about, even though there's only myself and Joe here, in the building, all of our team is still working very, very hard behind the scenes to make sure that we can stay in your company as long as we possibly can. As long as we can stay on air safely, then we will. Um, right, I've got some best press coming up in a bit. Hang on, right, before I do that, I'll tell you about it in a second, but 
quick recap for anybody who's just tuning in as I know that we've got new people coming in all the time maybe somebody who missed the first hour we've just bought back extra wide backing fabric at that price that's the bonkers thing uh, when we launched uh, these when we launched these fabrics uh, when we started the channel you probably heard me say it's got to be wrong that has got to be wrong it has got to have fallen through the net there is no way that we can offer you 108 inches do you want me to pin it on whilst you're there let's go for it so i'm just going to pin it onto the mannequin so i can show you what 108 inches wide looks like sorry to, to be a broken record for anyone who's just been watching the show but for anyone who's tuning in we've literally got we've had sellouts on virtually all of the colors so far but not just for quilt backing dressmaking soft furnishing uh just having fabric in your stash maybe you've just got uh, a new machine and you wanted to try it out all the different features and functions maybe you're just trying out your free motion foot you've got all these different patterns to sort of follow and do lovely quilting patterns with there's so much fabric for your money and I can't guarantee that we'll ever be able to bring it back we didn't think that we'd be able to bring it back at that price so do make the most of it um, the rest are on the web if there's any stock available, but they will be all underneath us. It's worth having a bit of a mooch, having a look, seeing what's there. In fact, have a look throughout what's on the whole, all of our website, because at the moment you can see everything that we're wearing. If you want to wait to see it a bit closer, absolutely fine, but don't wait too long if there's something you definitely want, uh, as we've seen a lot of sellouts before they've even ahead today. Right. There's your green. Let's go to, I just want to show you the best press um, just before we, before we move on because this is uh, the first time that we've had it in scent free, which I know a lot of people have been asking for. So I just want to give you a bit of a heads up on that. Scent free best press coming up very, very soon. And it's the big bottle. It's the big bottle. I'll tell you a bit more about it in a, in, in a bit, but that's going to be coming up now. Seems hand cream. Seems hand cream, something that we're all crying out for at the minute is, is hand cream. Uh, of course, washing my hands. Uh, is anybody else getting bored of singing happy birthday? <laughs> Twice, <laughs> over and over and over again. Um, I will never sing happy birthday the same again, ever. Um, but it, my hands are dry. Uh, washing my hands a lot, I'm, I'm finding that this is coming really, really useful. I've got my own uh, Seams hand cream and it is brilliant. The reason I love it is because it soaks in so fast. It's really... Uh, quick to absorb and it really gets in and penetrates your skin um, we'll do the hand cream first and then I've got the nail oil that I'm going to do as well it's £13.99 uh, I did show this yesterday but we had a lot of people who were checking out their baskets so I asked if I could bring it back as it is a really great gift idea for people at the moment as well maybe you just want to send somebody a gift in the post uh, this one is absolutely always going to be well received it isn't just necessarily for sewers uh, our hands work very, very hard. Uh, I know that Karen, who invented this hand cream, she actually came onto the show to talk about it uh, back in February. If you want to watch the show back, you can find it on YouTube. Just type in Seams Hand Cream uh, on YouTube and it should come up straight away, Sewing Street. Uh, but Karen was saying that she was actually on a milliner's course uh, making hats and she said her hands were just wrecked. She said to the teacher, is there anything, any hand cream that you'd advise? And they, they said, there isn't one. There isn't one. So she she thought, right, I'll invent one. So she talked to some of the best pharmaceuticals uh, and came up with an incredible combination of products. And there's a lot of ingredients in here which are listed on the um, on the packaging, which you can also see on uh, you can also see on our website. Um, so have a look on, on through there. It does contain macadamia nut oil, just so that you're aware. Um, so. They're all of the different ingredients. It is a lot of ingredients for the, for the price that you're paying. But it is designed to help to mo moisturise, help to soften and restore, condition with those uh, rosehip oils and the macadamia nut oil, uh, nourish and smooth. It's designed to help to hydrate and enhance skin barriers, providing with your pro-vitamin uh, B5. It's designed to help as well to even even skin tone strengthen nails I found from my personal experience um, that it's helped to strengthen mine I, I go in and out of wearing false nails in and out and I, I did for years and years and my nails are so brittle so then I was like right I'm not going to so I had a, a year or so off and then just before um, 
this the craziness sort of happened and we were over in America for Kira's birthday and I thought I'm gonna have my nails done so I went to the nail technician anyway I, I've sat over the last couple of weeks and I've picked them off and the nail technician said don't pick them off do not pick them off soak them off here's the stuff don't pick them off um, but you know what it's like I, a bit anxious and watching the telly and sitting bored sitting picking my nails anyway this has really helped even just using this every night for the last three weeks has really helped to strengthen my nails um you only need a tiny amount it's a really fast absorbing cream which you only need literally a pea size amount you do not need much it goes an awfully long way so that is going to last you such a long time give it a really good massage i do it at night it's nice to give your hands a bit of a massage at night isn't it and just let it all soak in the smell of it it's hard to sort of tell you a, a smell isn't it <laughs> if you know yeah if you know just think about it's it's a really clean smell. It's not overly floral. I uh, for one, the reason that I love the best press scent free is because we all have different sort of personal preferences on smells, don't we? But this is just a lovely, fresh, clean smell that also doesn't last. So if you um, if you are sewing, maybe if you're doing bridal, if you're working with silk dupion and you're worried about the grease transferring, this is designed to instantly absorb. Uh, and there's a lot of people, a lot of testimonials online as well. It's had an incredible amount of celebrity endorsement to say uh, how new this is, relatively new. Um, and it, there's so many celebrities are, uh, and a lot of people who are in all sorts of industries who are really finding this amazing in the fashion industry in the uh even i said yesterday dancing on ice uh professional her hands obviously you can imagine in the cold how how sore they get so she loves it as well i think her name's Bryony. i wasn't sure the one who's just got uh, engaged to the football player I was, i'm saying it to you joe thinking you might know but you don't do you <laughs> Um, but the, the smell won't transfer to your fabrics. So if you are doing EPP, I know that Kat, you need this. Kat's hands, she says that she's she's using a thimble now because uh, she kept pricking her hands with a needle. Um, uh, Brian E, Brian E. Who's just told you that? <laughs> Got engaged to Kevin who? Kilbane, is he a footballer? Yeah. yeah. £13.99 is a brilliant price and so many of you took advantage of that yesterday. I think especially, I mean, I, I always use hand cream. I have for years and years, especially with my hands being on telly. But um, this is something, even if you're doing the washing up, your hands get really dry. If you're doing a lot of gardening, it, I think we've all, this is for everybody. This isn't just for sewers, but it's nice to have a bit of a nod to our craft and something that's going to maybe help. Give it all a good massage and, and it will really, penetrate into the skin a lot of um, a lot of hand creams that I've tried in the past I get gifted hand creams a lot and um, they they don't soak in they stay on the surface and therefore can stay very greasy but this is uh, the the formula is designed to completely penetrate into the skin which is brilliant really really clever indeed so we love that it's £13.99 uh, let me know what you think of it please let me know because the proof is in the pudding have a go and see what you think. We're also going to do the the rose, the, the nail oil, which I say rose is because it's rosehip oil, black currant seed oil, and peony root extract. I mean, the, I just love the ingredients. I'm gonna this one's mine, so I'm gonna make sure I put that with my my bits and bobs. Um, Again, all of your ingredients, there's loads of ingredients that have gone into this all listed on uh, on the website. Now, when I say the uh, nail oil, this is designed, yes, for your nails, but it doesn't really stop there. Watch Karen show back because she talks to you about how actually, you know, if you get dry elbows or feet or knees or um, Hayley used this on a holiday for nice holiday, soft legs. Uh, it, it really is beautiful. It's designed, again, to help soften, restore and condition, nourish and even skin tone. Great, again, for your nails. I was saying uh, my nails over a week from taking my picking my false nails off. Um, but this is beautiful for your cuticles. It comes really nicely packaged as well, if you are thinking of a gift idea for somebody. Made here in the UK and you do not need much at all. So you have... I mean, you, do, you don't even need to squeeze it. I'm literally just gonna tap that onto each of my fingernails like that. 
I should have done this really before my hand cream. You, you should really do your, your cuticle oil first and then your hand cream is the way that Karen recommends. But I haven't even squeezed that at all. So you can imagine just how long this lasts. Uh, your shelf life on it, you've got a year worth really here. And if you did this every day, I think it'd still probably last you that. It's not something you're gonna need to keep rebuying. So it is more, if you think of it, yes, it's 21.99, but for such a specialist, beautiful nail oil that actually you're gonna be able to use all over your body, it's brilliant. So just wanted to, um, to update you on that one. I love it. I love presenting this because I give myself a little mini manicure every morning. It's really nice. Okay, let's move on to the fabrics that we didn't get a chance to, to show you earlier on. Um, I'm going to pop these up here. The Rose and Hubble Poplin Weight. We did the lavender, didn't we? We saw the lavender star. That's going to be on the website. The red. Red up next. So it's a poplin weight, which is a slightly lighter weight cotton. Um, this is called Scarlet. That's how wide this one is. It's 112 wide. It's going to be beautiful for dressmaking. Be great for patchwork. Just be aware that it is a, um, a different weight. So it will feel different when you're quilting. But it's absolutely fine. I know lots of designers that tend to mix the different weights of fabric. But just so you're aware, it is a popular weight. Look at the price. It's 3 dollars a half metre. Your ditzy stars. Such a beautiful fabric, it really is. I, I, I love all of the Rose and Hubble and I just think for the value for money, stock up your stash. Great for bag linings, for purses, little makeup bags, little gift ideas. Maybe you want to make somebody little pin cushion, scissor keepers, something to even send in the post. For £3.99, how much you're going to be able to make, that's the equivalent of two fat quarters. So if you've got Wendy Gardner's book with your fat quarter makes, so much that you can make really affordably. If you've already purchased something as well, you've paid the postage and packaging as well already. So you might as well add to your order. There's your Scarlet, navy blue. Hello, Norma. Norma's messaged in, say, morning, Vicky. Good morning, Norma, how are you? She says, I've taken advantage of a few of the great offers today. Brilliant, one P and P for you then. The Ice Dancer's name is Brianne. Ah, you're right. I think she's Canadian. She says, I think she's either American or Canadian. I think she's Canadian. Oh, it's lovely to ha it's lovely to be back. Thank you so much. It's lovely to see you back. It's so nice. It really, really is. It's 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 really sp inspired me as well. Uh, I've gone home every day this week and got the sewing machine sewing. Uh, I've absolutely loved it. I really, really have. I've got Kieran involved as well, as you probably saw on Facebook. <laughs> And yes, I can. I, he is going to be for sale as well to come and help um, do all of your cutting as well. <laughs> That's the one bit I just find a bit, oh, I don't want to cut. So I know a lot of people that really enjoy the cutting part, but yeah, I'm not one of those people. But Kieran does. He's so accurate. He's so accurate. He's very um, precise about everything, though. In, like, he's, he, um, it's part of his job. He's, he... he, he uh, Supply, well, he likes me to say, supplies and fits, floor coverings. He says, Vic, don't say I'm just, you know, a floor layer. He says, I supply and fit floor coverings. I'm like, okay, sorry. He does carpets as well, he does carpets, and he does, um, like, luxury vinyl tiles. Um, but, so he has to be very precise, but he was brilliant at cutting. He was great with the creative grid rulers. I said, please, will you come in, Kieran, and do the demo for me? I'm scared. £3.99 for your navy stars. Oh, it's like a, um, want to say salmon pink? <laughs> you made a right pig's ear of that folding, haven't you? Just saying, sorry. There you go, that's all right. Not bad. Seen worst. I uh, haven't been on my folding lessons over the last three weeks. That's something I haven't been doing. See, it's not um, a pink pink. It's not pink, 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 pink. It's more of a lovely um, salmon -y pink. £3.99, this is, for me, all about price again, to be able to get lovely poplin weight. Whether you're dressmaking, quilting, bag making, just stocking up your stash, just because you're thinking, right, I need some more fabric to keep me going over the next few weeks. It's just £3.99, making gifts for people. Making little quilts, maybe you've got new babies due later on in the year, it'd be lovely to do some um, baby quilts. 
Oh, lovely. Okay, and then the green, which is like a mint green. You'd say pistachio. As the graphics say pistachio. Oh, I love pistachio ice cream. I don't think I've ever had, I don't think I've ever had like pistachio nuts, just normal pistachios. No, I don't know. But are they, are they as nice as the ice cream? <laughs> he said, yeah. Have I tried the really posh one? Is there? Oh, no, I haven't tried that. I don't think I've ever bought pistachio ice cream from the shop. I've always just had it at, you know, when you go to those shops that have loads of choice of different flavours. Oh, I love it. £3.99, that minty green. Three ninety nine and a half metre for your pistachio ditzy stars. Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? Again, for I'm thinking for for uh, soft furnishings, cushions, and lampshades because it is slightly lighter weight. You, the light's going to travel through beautifully. That's three pound ninety nine. Let's do the toucans. Oh, these are really fun. These are really really fun. We've got. We've got to just try and cheer ourselves up a bit, haven't we, at the moment, and, and think about projects for the summer. Uh, we're only in April, after all, and we're very, very lucky. We've had such beautiful weather the last week. Um, these are so much fun. I can imagine our director, Paul, rocking a shirt with toucans on like this. Or Karen, I can imagine a beautiful dress that you would make from this. I see Karen's makes on the uh, the fan page. This is awesome. What about seat covers for um, uh, outside table when you're having your your um, barbecues? Oh, nice. Just one little cushion in your living room. It's quite Oliver Bonus or Next at Home, John Lewis, isn't it? You can just imagine it with a really lovely piped um, piped edge. It would look nice with piping round. Maybe like a, a grey pipe piping, do you think? Yeah, I suppose it would work, yeah. That's a good idea. £4.99, toucan on yellow. I've never seen this before. It's brand new to me. It could be brand new to you too. And it's, again, a brilliant price. Now, this is quilting weight cotton. Just so you're aware, this is quilting weight cotton. What about fussy-catting with your, your new um, crafty product? With the, uh, with the gyro cut or your fabric cut? That's great, isn't it, to be able to fussy cut? Lovely for EPP, maybe some larger hexes. Look at the lovely colours, those pinks are beautiful. £4.99 at half metre, purchased by the half metre, remember. So if you do want to make larger projects, I'm thinking of a dressmaking, it will be cut off the bolt, especially for you. Especially for you. Let's do the blue. Hannah, how are you today after your nap? Did you sleep this evening? I'm just, um, Hannah's watching from home. Did you sleep yesterday evening? Because this evening, did you sleep just gone, the night just gone? Because Hannah, she said, um, I spoke to her after the show and uh, it was Hayley producing yesterday. I said, let me know when you wanna have a chat about today's show. She says, oh yeah, I'll let you know. And then um, she says, I've just fallen asleep all day. She did sleep last night. You must have just needed it, Han. Sometimes you just need it, don't you? And you think, oh my word, I need a nap. Do it. I tried to resist. The first week of isolation, um, I was talking to a lot of friends who were saying, oh, I've just had my afternoon nap, started having these, my, my party nap, my nana nap. And, um, and I was like, no, don't do that. You've got plenty of things you can be getting on with. And then about day nine, I was like, I'm just gonna have a nap, and it was the best thing ever. I haven't had an afternoon nap for years, it's so nice. That's what Hannah did all day yesterday. Four pounds, 99. And of course, we did sit on, um, on FaceTime, all of us, didn't we, for a good hour or so. And then Kat joined in, and because on House Party, people just randomly join your conversation. So me, Hannah and Joe were having our work conference call, uh, very important. Then in pops Cat with her EPP. Then in pops Laura. Then in pops John Scott. <laughs> He's like, I just want to see what I'm missing out on. What are you doing? What are you doing? I said, we're all sewing and we're having a meeting. Four pounds, 99, a half metre for your toucan on blue. Half a metre, your green, your yellows, lovely pinks. I do like a toucan. I like their beaks.
Four pounds now to the half meter. That's a lovely sky blue, isn't it? Just like nice for summer. Lovely for summer. So we've seen the birds. Right, we've got the koi carp. Right, every single time I've had the chance, I say every single time I've had the chance of, of, of presenting like Japanese inspired fabrics, they've been really, really popular. I haven't done it at all here since I've been a part of Sewing Street. Since I think this is the first koi carp fabric we've had and um, it's new to me. I love it. Absolutely love it. If you are a fan of Susan Briscoe and you love her, uh, it, it, her sashko and the, the history behind Japanese quilting techniques and fabrics, I think this is going to be up your street. This is so cool. Koi carp, beautiful fabric with corals, pinks for four pounds and ninety nine pence. Look at that. The detail is fantastic, isn't it? Your koi fish. Is it, is it koi carp? Have I got that right? Yeah, I think I was going koi carp. Uh, Four pound ninety nine and a half meter is again quilting weight cotton, 112 wide. If you know, message in, we message on Facebook. They are koi carp, aren't they? Just four pounds, 99 pence. What about embellishing with some, um, some um, stitching over the top of it or just having it as a border on your sashko? How about in, in embellishing with embroidery like French knots or even some metallic thread, some gold thread or even some beads? And I mean, you could go crazy. Even if you just use, get your embroidery hoop and frame part of this, and then just embellish away. Look amazing. Look, uh, this is what I, I love about the world that we're in, this creative world. You can give somebody half a metre of this at to 10 people, 20 people, and everyone would come up with something different to do. So versatile, really, really versatile. Who's that, sorry? Hello, V. V sent in a message. V, V. Hello, V. Fiona, V. Hi. Oh, it's lovely to be back. Thank you. Oh, watch Noel's show back if I were you. Um, what what date was that? Hannah, I wonder whether you could see. Um, the, the gyro cut was on yesterday, yes. Um, we had loads of products in the show, so I did do a very mini demo, but if you want to see it in full swing, watch Noel's show, which was, I'll find out, Hannah's going to find out for you and I'll let you know. Oh, thank you. She says she liked my um, my singing on, on Facebook. Thank you. Do you like that? Do you know that song? It's, it's funny because country music, obviously, in America is huge, isn't it? And I feel like it's big over here, but it's, it's not anywhere near, obviously, as big as it is in uh, America. But it's starting to get a bit more known. We were singing some of our country songs at a gig um, a couple of months back. And I saw people singing along. I was like, you know this song, you know Luke Gooms, you know Brett Young, and you know all these different artists. So I've, I've got a real love for country music. A newfound love. It was the 27th of February. Thanks, Hayley Bryant, uh, if you want to watch the gyro cut. Brilliant. Hello, Susan. Susan sent in a message as well. Good morning. Yeah, they're Koi Carp. Thank you. Thank you, I will sleep tonight. This is why, honestly, it's me and Joe here, so I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get much info from Joe. I need your help. <laughs> so rude, so rude saying. Oh, he's storming out. He's staging a walkout. <laughs> I could only say it because he's one of my besties. Aren't you, Joe? Four pounds ninety nine. I don't think I could go a day without not speaking to Joe. Now I told you yesterday we feel a bit uneasy if there's not a Wilcox in the building, um, so it has to happen at all times. Whereas, yeah, I, I feel like I have to include Joe in everything in my life now. Four pounds ninety nine. Your koi fish on ivory for less than five pounds. That's so beautiful. That really is. I think it's a lovely tableware, like a table runner and placemats, coasters, bits and bobs like that. Or fussy cutting with your gyro cut. They'll be good for fussy cutting. They're quite a nice shape actually to cut out. It's not too intricate, is it? But it is quite detailed that you'd probably struggle with scissors. So that's a perfect one to use your, um, 
Get into the groove of the tail. They're getting their little whiskers. Are they called whiskers? <laughs> I'm calling them whiskers. Susan, let us know. <laughs> do koi carp have whiskers? What are they, do you think? Like little whiskers? I'm going with whiskers. Uh, right. How long until we do this? Oh, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. So, best press. This is, um, I'm not allowed to open this one because this is one that's got to go back to our warehouse. I've been under strict instruction um, because I wanted to give it all a good spray, but there's no point because it's completely scent free. Uh, that's the great thing about this. We've had the lavender. Have we had the linen? I don't know whether we've had linen. I know we've definitely had lavender because I know it's, it's under the desk over there, but um, this is the scent free. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Love the smell of lavender, love the linen fresh. Some people don't want the smell of lavender or linen fresh, just want scent free. So this is the one to go for. It is a huge bottle, so that's gonna last you uh, absolutely ages. Um, I actually used Best Press when I was doing my um, Creative Grids, playing around with Creative Grids yesterday, because it's, it's, it's really good one for getting out all of quite stubborn creases when you're ironing. It's really, really good for that. So if you give it a good spritz, it will just give it that lovely, quite crisp feel, which makes it actually easier to sew with, which sounds silly. But you know, sometimes if you've got fabric that's slightly lighter weight like this and you, you're sewing with it and it can just sort of run away with itself. If you give it a spritz of this, it almost, I'm not going to use the word sort of stabilise it, but it gives it a bit more body. Uh, so it helps you to sew with it. But also, if you're working with bias edges, I would absolutely, no brainer, use Best Press. Do it because you will, you will really reduce the risk of having warping. Um, quite often, if you are working with bias edges and you're pressing or you're handling, you'll warp your edges. Um, and this is really good for almost giving it that uh, more sort of stability. So, it isn't like other starch sprays. The great thing about Sewing Street is that we are going to offer you lots of different options on tools. We've got, I mean, for an example, Millwood Ulfa rotary cutters, and we've got Millwood scissors, we've got Fisker scissors. We're not telling you which brand to buy. We're just informing you on the, the uh, you know, the options that you can do. Best Press, there are so many people that have recommended this to us that I probably wouldn't even try another brand uh, because of the fact that a lot of starches can leave white um, marks or, you know, it, it can leave clogging, it can leave flaking, it can leave dark, it can leave uh, sort of white patches on, on dark fabrics uh, or have a bit of spotting, whereas this doesn't. This is designed to not have any clogging, any flaking, any uh, white patches on dark fabrics, no residue, no shine as well. So when you're spritzing, you're thinking it's going to make it shiny. It doesn't actually make it any. It doesn't make it shiny. Um, it relaxes stubborn uh, wrinkles. Also, I've used it on. Um, I had a dress on that was really staticky, and I sprayed it with Best Press, and it's reduced the static. That was just, I mean, it doesn't say that on the bottle, but it helped me. So it is brilliant to use, and that is just going to last you such a long time. It's got quite a, a nice fine spritz, so it's not going to soak your fabric. It gives you an even spray from your sprayer, and as I say, it's just going to last you ages. We've not had the scent free in before, and I know a lot of people have been messaging in asking us to get this one. So that's for you. It's £8.99, and it kind of makes ironing fun, doesn't it? Makes it a lot easier. Hello, Susan. Oh, Susan's got back in touch with us. Susan, what are they called? <laughs> They're called barbels. I knew you'd know, Susan. Right, let's ask her a harder question. She said, now ask me a hard question. So, she's told me these are koi carp. She's told me these are called barbels, they're not whiskers. Um, right, what's a difficult question? Oh, let's do one about sloths. What are their hands called? Because they've got like three little hands. What are sloths' hands called? There you go. Thank you, Susan. Um, right, so that is your best press. I would recommend that for um, the project that I'm going to be showing you, well, the, the ruler that I'm going to be showing you. Just gives you real accuracy when you 
all nice and flat. It, it does help a lot. Okay, let's go on to the huge cutting mat. You don't realise how much I need this. You do not realise how much I need this now. Uh, if I'm being brutally honest, the reason that I bought a smaller mat was because of space, because of storing. If you've got the space to do it, go with the biggest mat that your space can allow. Don't buy a smaller mat if you are going to be cutting, you know, half metres. You're going to have to keep shimmying your mat and I find it really annoying. I've completely outgrown my mat. Um, Hannah was saying, me and Hannah were having this conversation yesterday and um, she's in the same boat as well. This is just a dream. And $37.99, one PMP, this is included in that posting packaging and it's going to be store, it's going to be, it's going to arrive to you lovely and flat um, and you don't need to pay any more for your postage and packaging even though it's huge. It's 90 by 60 centimetres which is 36 by 24 inches. Now it is I believe, yeah, double sided so if you work in metric or imperial you're covered. It's also got, you can't even really see it, let me move this across. It's also got all of your important angles, like your 45 degree angle, you've got your 30 degree, you've got your 60 degree. Um, so you've got some really lovely key angles and it's self healing. So if you are doing a lot of cutting on your mat, um, it's not going to leave any dentation. It's not going to leave any dents or, or any scores or any marks to it. So it is really lovely. To clean your mat, just use like a baby wipe that's absolutely fine and that will just get any lint off and it will almost engage those self-healing properties but it is double-sided it's going to protect your surface and it is a necessity if you're working with a rotary cutter uh, don't try and use you know a, a chopping board or you know something like that you do need a, a proper cutting mat and as i said the bigger ones if you've got the space to be able to do it don't get me wrong, this isn't the biggest mat I've ever seen. It's still easy to store. So if you don't have a permanent space for it, slot it under the sofa, under the bed, under a cupboard. Um, that's what I do. I keep my mat under, I keep sort of all of my bits and bobs under, um, under my uh, dressing table. And it's all ready to go. And I just pull it all out and it's there ready to go. Uh, do you know another great use for this at the moment? Joe bought in for me yesterday a puzzle a jigsaw puzzle, which he said will take me weeks. It took him weeks and weeks. He's put it in the box though and it's still kind of put together. That was Liam who did that, so that if he does it again, it makes it a little easier because it took weeks and weeks and weeks because it's just all black and white. It's of a VW, a VW camper van. So I'll let you know how I get on on Facebook. But this is great for on puzzles, isn't it? So that you can then just put it away. Like, I don't want to look at that puzzle anymore. Put it under the under the uh, the sofa or something out the way. So great for puzzles. That was Hannah's um, idea. Thirty-seven pounds ninety-nine. Brilliant idea. Now, of course, as I say, you do need a mat if you're working with a rotary cutter. We've got a couple of different rotary cutters, as I mentioned. We love to offer you variety. So it's it all depends on. You know your personal preference, what you're used to, what you what you find easier. Um, this one is possibly the most popular rotary cutter that we stock. Do you want to know why? Oh, I've stumped Susan. I've stumped Susan with the sloth question. She says I'm going to call them toes. Oh, she knows a technical word is a digit. She's going to look it up to make sure. Oh my word, speaking of quiz questions, have you been watching the programme on ITV the, um, about the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's called Quiz. Oh my word, me and Joe have been just talking about it this morning. It was really good. It's the finale tonight. Uh, Joe's going to have to reschedule his quiz because we need to watch the finale, don't we? So your 45 millimetre blade uh, is probably the most, uh, yeah, well it is, your sort of standard rotary cutting blade. You can get smaller, you can get bigger. Smaller for curves, brilliant. In fact, I've got a 28 millimeter one, which I'll show you in a bit. And you can actually get a 60 millimeter one, which just bigger. But this is your sort of standard blade. Now it can be used whether you are left-handed or you're right-handed, you simply just move the blade over to the other side. This little button here is brilliant. This is your safety catch. So once that is, pushed in like this, you cannot release the blade, it's completely safe. The first thing that I was taught when I first started quilting is to get used to pressing that after every single cut and it just becomes a habit. If you just start by doing that, you'll just do it naturally. But then when you press the button back in, that releases your blade. So just with grip, 
it will engage the blade. Um, it's got a really lovely soft grip handle. So if you are doing a lot of cutting, which um, who was it that was talking to? Said so they needed to do like 180 half square triangles and bits and bobs. I mean, it, there's a lot of cutting in some of the big quilts that we I know that that, that a lot of you do. So it can be tiresome. It can, can give you a bit of hand fatigue, can't it? So it's nice to be know that you've got that extra soft grip. Main thing for me though on this one is your safety. Ulfa, they're brilliant with the safety. That button is brilliant. You don't need to get your hands anywhere near that blade when you're cutting. Please don't. Always cut away from yourself. Had to give Kieran a bit of a crash course yesterday with the rotary cutter as he was helping me cut um, on Monday with the, 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 um, the creative grids. It's like, Kieran, no, he was doing all this, like going all round. So you don't need to do that. Need a rotating cutting mat for one, but also just spin your work round. Don't cut towards yourself. Do not cut towards yourself. They're very, 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 very sharp. I don't want to put every, anybody off because they're brilliant. You'll get through layers and layers and layers of fabric. I mean, look, the blade is exposed quite a lot. So it is going to go through multiple layers of fabric. Keep it sharp. You don't need to keep buying new blades. You can buy a, a rotary cutter sharpener and, uh, and just resharpen them. Eventually you will need to get, eventually you will need to get one. You can get pinking ones. I think that's with the fist curls. I think you can get pinking um, blades. You can get all sorts, can't you? But uh, there's also little measurements. I've never even noticed that before, really. So if you only want to cut like a, a, I'm guessing they're inches. So you only want to cut one inch then you could just cut. You can't really see it, but you will at home. There's just little, um, it does come with a rotary blade, by the way, already fitted like this. Um, so you're ready to go, taking those first cuts into your fabric. Whether you're a quilter or actually, Great British Sewing Bee starting again, isn't it? Oh my word, how excited are we? 22nd of April, oh, that's next week, isn't it? Um, uh, my really good friend Mark's on it. I absolutely love Mark and I, I, I can't wait to watch him. He's going to be so good. I have no idea how he's done, um, but he did reveal on Facebook yesterday that he's on it and I, it's just going to be brilliant. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. I actually met him. It's really random. I met him at um, a wedding fair. I was singing and he was playing the piano and he he's, was a, works in a bank and he's a pianist, he sings, but he looked like he had a really unusual garment on, like jacket and lovely. And I said to him, do you sew? Do you make your own? Where do you get that from? He said he makes his own, he sews, and then, yeah, he's on the Great British Sewing Bee. It's so exciting. Uh, but dressmakers also use rotary cutters sometimes. Okay, let's do the millwood. So I just want to show you the difference in sizes. We've got the 45 millimeter and we've got the 28 mil. I also do have a 28 millimeter blade. Um, that's great for curves. I know John Cole Morgan recommends this one for foundation paper piecing as well. Uh, so once again, Millwood, very, very safe indeed. I think this is the one that John Cole Morgan uses actually. John, if you're watching, correct me if I'm wrong, but let me know. I think this might be the one that you use. But can you see, it's got a lovely soft grip again. So uh, great for if you're doing lots of cutting. It's also got that lever. So that is what's going to then expose the blade, but it's all nicely covered over. Again, safety first. That is completely, completely um, safe. But just get into the habit after you've made the cut of then closing your blade. You can see how sharp they are. Oh my word, they really, really are. Oh, this is one that Hayley Bryant uses as well. 45 millimeter blade, brilliant to have. Don't let that put you off. Don't let Hayley put you off. This is one that she uses. John Cole Morgan also uses it. <laughs> Sorry, Hayley. Right, let's do the 20. Oh, so it comes like that. Also show you how to put your rotary blade on as well. So the next one, sorry, we'll come back to the, um, the smaller one. We've got some clover flower head pins. Debbie Shaw absolutely loves these. They're really lovely and fine. You can see them very, very clearly. So if you are, um, if you are putting on maybe some binding or if you're doing um, dressmaking, if you're doing alterations, it's great because it can hold together multiple la layers of fabric because it's a really lovely sharp point, but you can see them. Because nobody likes, nobody likes um, pins in their projects, receiving a project and, uh, and finding a pin in there, do they, in the bottom? £10.99. 
You've got that lovely flat head as well. So if you are working with a sewing machine, you, your flower head is actually lovely and flat. Um, so it's going to be really easy to sort of see them and take them out as you're, as you're sewing. The only thing I'd be wary of is if you're using this near your iron, be careful because they are plastic heads. So you don't want them to melt onto your fabric. Um, but they are anti-rust treated. So if you are pinning something and leaving it for a while, don't worry, it's not going to end and it's not going to leave rust on your uh, on your lovely fabrics. Okay, so there your clover pins. You get 100 in there as well. Lovely. And they're nice and long. 28 mm rotary blade. Uh, this is the smallest, actually no, it's not the smallest rotary blade. I've seen another one, a green one. Who's that clover? I've seen an even smaller one from clover actually. But if you are doing curves, yep, cutting curves, can be a bit daunting, can be a bit scary, but this is gonna be a bit easier because it's less sort of cumbersome, isn't it? Um, going around curves. Uh, John Cole Morgan uses this size for foundation paper piecing. Has John done any demos on foundation paper piecing yet? Has he? Right, I need to watch that back. I need to watch it back. He's got his own panel. Right, I have to watch it because that's one thing that I'd love to, I've got the time to sort of sit and try and conquer it. Um, you all know I, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert expert um, and I'm sort of learning along with you. I've had such lovely messages over the last few weeks of people saying that they've, you know, watched my journey and also learn along with me which is so nice i've learned so much so much so that i won the sewing round in the quiz and i'm going to tell you every day i'm going to remind everyone every day <laughs> um yeah hayley bryant yeah i know i'll give it to you you won the overall quiz science maths and all the other categories let me down but sewing i came 10 out of 10 and that was the quickest fastest fingers first <laughs> £6.99, great price, and it is just going to be uh, another great rotary cutter to add to your stash. Do you know, if you're doing foundation paper piecing, you're obviously cutting through paper. So maybe you don't want to be using your rotary cutter that you, um, you know, you use for your best liberties. Maybe you do just want another rotary cutter that you're using to go through paper, because it's going to blunt it a bit quicker, but um, it's £6.99, really affordable, and... Um, Quite very precise as it's as it's a little smaller, a bit easier to manage. Okay. One thing that I absolutely needed yesterday, and do you know what? I'm gonna get one of these because it, it really, really helps. I'll show you, I'll use it with my uh, when I'm when I'm talking about the, the creative grid next. I'll show you how it comes. So you get sort of three parts to this, or two parts. Um, the bottom of it is quite sort of spongy. Uh, and that's going to adhere to your surface, whether it be on top of your cutting metal or on top of your surface. It's going to protect, but it's also not going to be slipping and sliding. It's got like this circle in the centre, which, like a jigsaw puzzle, just easily slots in. So then that's, that's, that's in there. That's not going anywhere. And it quite simply rotates. Now, what is the benefit of this when you're quilting uh, or when you're cutting? The first thing is, of course, safety. Safety, safety, safety for me. When you're cutting, always cut away from yourself. Remember then, you can do a quick turn and cut again without moving your work, without moving your body, without having to, you know, do some awkward angles. As I said yesterday, my word, kitchen, uh, the kitchen surface was all laid out with all of our bits and bobs. Very, very messy. Sorry, Kieran, because he was fuming with me putting that picture on the Facebook fan page when it wasn't looking immaculate. It's like, look at everything everywhere and I'm doing this. I just did a little sneaky um, self if you missed it. But he was going round like this and doing really strange things. And I said, Kieran, you mustn't cut towards yourself. You've got to move your, pro move your fabric round but then you've got to reposition it this is going to really help 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 that if you're squaring up blocks this is going to be ideal um, also you've got some really lovely key measurements on there uh, you've got your inches you've got your circles you've got your uh, 60 degree 45 degree and your 30 degree so not only is it going to be really nice and safe to use but it's also going to save time because you're not having to reposition your fabrics it's also going to um, to, to help your precision. Uh, I've realised more and more how every eighth of an inch 
counts. It really matters. You, get it, getting that precision to, to make your points meet does really matter. Um, so the accuracy and precision in your cutting is going to help all of that come together when you're sewing. Uh, and therefore, having the right tools for the job is brilliant. Don't get me wrong, you probably are also going to need a, a bigger cutting mat, but that's a nice size, isn't it? And, and quite easy and portable. So if you're not needing it, easy to store away. Um, that's your rotating cutting mat. Oh. Um, right, earlier on, I mentioned that our early bird specials are very, very popular. You tune in every morning. Set your alarm, 8 o'clock, for the early bird special because quite often the early birds sell out, like today's, it's already sold out before we've even got to the end of the show. So don't wait for the replay. If you want to see brilliant, brilliant deals and great savings, then watch the early birds because they often sell out. Or we say for that day, um, you can make the most of those prices. I've been rooting through the website over the last couple of weeks and I've noticed something which... I I'm presuming the management know about this, but I'm like, how on earth has this slipped through the net? Um, I found the, uh, the Beehive Octagon in an early bird special, and these are still on the website at an early bird special price. So can we do them now at an early bird special price? I think so. I think so. We'll see what the graphics say. But as far as I'm aware, yeah, on the website, it's still saying a £5 saving. You can get it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. This is just a little treat that I wanted to bring in as this is a lovely gift idea for somebody and a brilliant, brilliant price point for quality Millward scissors. So in here, well, I say just for the just for your shears, that is brilliant. And they've got this lovely rose gold colour. <gasps> very, very on trend. Beautiful quality scissors. Um, well, I should call them shears, really, shouldn't I? Because they are, let's see how big they are. Your shears are, oh, I don't think I've got, um, is, are they 21.5 centimetres? 21.5 centimetres. Over eight inches means that they're sheer. I'm guessing they're shears. They're lovely, weighty dressmaking shears. Not too heavy, don't get me wrong, but they're, they are quite weighty. So, uh, of course, all scissors should be, because you don't want to be doing cu your cutting up in the air. They're designed to use close down. Oh, listen. Oh, love that sound. It's so satisfying, isn't it? But very, very on trend. We do like the rose gold indeed. Um, so they're your larger scissors. You're also then going to get your little embroidery snips. Really handy to have. Really, really handy to have by the, uh, the sewing machine, uh, just to trim off any loose ends. Or to do maybe some little snips into curves if you want a really nice sharp point right to the end. Sorry, I was just testing because I know this is going to sound crazy, but quite often when you're looking at little scissors, they have little thumb holes, whereas these are actually like human sized thumb holes, not tiny, tiny ones. They're great sizes and they're detailed as well. They're lovely and detailed. Not stop there though, not stopping there. You also, cat, this would be a nice gift. This would be a nice gift for your sister actually because you get a thimble as well. Doing some hand sewing. She's watching. Cat, you definitely need that. Oh, and not forgetting, you also get some little pins, a little pack of pins. Five pounds saving, £14.99 for your, well, it's an early bird price. I don't know whether it will stay uh, at that price, but there are a few items on the website that have got an early bird price still. Just saying. Check them out. Have a look. After the show, have a look. Right, I've got uh, ooh, like five minutes or so. Ooh, okay, let's show you. Cut and press. The June Taylor cut and press. It's love. I'm just going to plonk that there for a second. I've got it under here because I was just using it when I was doing my ironing earlier on. Cut and press from June Taylor. Brilliant because it's reversible. So I'm all for anything that's going to save me time and space. Uh, I haven't got much space uh, in my kitchen is where I do my sewing. I have to get my big ironing board out. I have to get my big iron out. Get everything all set up. Can take some time. And you do need to be pressing at each point. So if you've got your little station set up where you've got your sewing machine, you've got your little uh, up pressing mat, maybe you're doing things like cathedral windows and you've got to do a lot of pressing. Really handy to have that there in front of you. What also I like about it is it's already pre-shrunk cotton. So if you're using steam with this, your measurements aren't going to change. They're really, really accurate. Um, so th that is, they're not going to warp at all or fade or run or bleed into your fabrics. You can pin in this. Have I got any pins? 
you can pin on that. So you can almost use it as a bit of like a design wall. Um, you could use it if you're doing your, if you're doing your bias binding, if you've got a bias uh, tape maker, you're making your own, if you pin it to the one side and pull it and press along, then that's really handy as well. Uh, if you are squaring up and you want to make sure that they're nice and square, you've got, uh, you, you have got those reference points here, but it's a really, really lovely quality pressing mat. And then you turn it around and it's a really great quality pressing mat. So this is the thing about June Taylor is that I'm going to use my uh, analogy of um, a washer dryer. I don't have a washer dryer. I've got just a washing machine and a put it on my clothes horse to dry. But washer dryers, I've always thought, oh, if you're looking at a combo, are you sort of sacrificing one or the other to get that combo? Is it too much? The great thing about June Taylor is that you're looking at that combination, you're doing two jobs with one, but it's still a top quality pressing mat and a really top quality cutting mat. So again, it's self-healing, it's got all of your measurements all ready to go, it's really lovely and solid, it's a great size, it's also, of course, easy to transport and store away. $49.99, I understand, is, is, you know, it is a considered purchase, but... It's not something that you are going to need to buy again and again and again. And let's face it, how much does it cost for a top quality cutting mat and a pressing mat? You've got it all in one for $49.99. We like that one a lot. Okay, so that's your quilters cut and press. I've also got um, the cushion square and blocker. Similar thing again, this time doesn't have the pressing, it doesn't have the cutting mat. It's big as well. This is a really, really big one and it's really lovely and cushioned. So exactly like what I said with the last one, um, pre-shrunk cotton, not going to bleed onto your fabric. Your measurements are, aren't going to change. They're already, uh, you know, sometimes I've, I've, I've actually used um, uh, one like this, but it, it did sort of warp slightly and I thought, oh, I wouldn't trust the measurements. Whereas, of course, go with your ruler still, but know that it's already pre-shrunk. You've then got great key measurements throughout your pressing mat. So if you are squaring up blocks or if you are using your measurements along, along the centre of, uh, of your block, then you can. You can pin into this. You can do, um, oh, you can do like, is it called, let me know what it's called when you do, it's almost like um, crochet. Um, is it called needle punching? So is it Susan? Susan, what is it called when you can do, uh, you can pin it and you're almost like your macrame or your crochet. Um, I think it's called needle pulling or, uh, I've written it down somewhere because I, I was looking at lots of different uses for this and I know a lot of people use it when they're working with wool and working with yarn. Let me know, Susan. You'll know. Susan will know. So that is just a single-sided uh, blocker. Block, blocker. Blocking. I can't think. I can't think. Um, needle punching. Is it needle punching? Hayley Bryant said needle punching. Um, yeah, it must be that. It must be that. Thank you, Hayley. They're always there on hand to help me when I have a mind blip. Uh, right, the sloth with his toes. Susan was telling me that they're called digits. This is another great one. See, they're all sort of different ways of using uh, your cutting and pressing mats. This is another one that's great to transport. It's got a lovely sloth print, which we just adore. It makes us smile. Um, but if you are going off to workshops, da -da 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 -da, you can look the biz for one. I would love to have been at my quilting and patchwork classes. Everybody else queuing up to use the communal lining board and me like, oh, just got, let me just set up my little station, my machine, my pressing, and so, and press, and so, and press. That's going to be part of our VHS. But you have got a lovely pressing mat there, great size as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're not going to be ironing um, shirts and trousers on here, are you, or your family ironing, but you can do some lovely blocks uh, and ironing out your half square triangles is going to be really nice and easy. And then the other side, it folds back on itself without damaging the spine. Uh, and you have your cutting mat, which is again in inches, also in centimetres on the other side, 40 degree, 60 degree angle, self-healing cutting mat, A3 size, 
for $29.99. I just think this is such a lovely gift for somebody. I was saying yesterday, quite often, it's somebody's birthday coming up. And can you find, for the life of you, something for them? You're scanning around something that's a bit different and something that's a bit personal and uh, to their hobby. Uh, you don't walk into gift stores and see lots of um, bits and bobs for sewers necessarily, do you? So you can find things online, you can find, find some unusual things, but when you're looking for them, you can't. So this is great to just be able to have, if you know somebody that you're thinking, yes, that would be perfect for them. Go for it. Grab it whilst you can. That's the A3. If that's a bit too big, maybe, you don't need that sort of size. If you're doing smaller projects, then what about the A4? Or oh, if you just want the whole collection. Because this is lovely. So your, your cover of it, both front and back, is cushioned. So that's going to be your pressing mat. So you've got a smaller size cutting mat, uh, pressing mat. But... We love this because it's got like that sandpaper on the middle here. Brilliant to, to work as sort of a design wall or to hold a block that you finished in there. Um, you've also then got your cutting mat as well. You've got your cutting mat. And I don't know whether you can use this as a design wall. I wonder if this sort of sticks. Does it? Let me see. Yeah, see that sticks. How good's that? Coming up. I'm so nervous. It's getting to the time, isn't it? Oh. I'm, um, I, I've loved learning to sew. I really, really have over the last few years. But sewing on telly is something that I always said, Please don't, I can't do it. I don't know if I could do it. And I thought, do you know what? I can, I can. We obviously haven't got guest designers in at the moment for obvious reasons. We've been doing some great videos though, haven't we? Uh, I know that Sally Ann and Cara uh, have been um, sending in their videos. So we're going to be doing some more of those. But I thought, come on, bite the bullet. We're all friends here. And I've had three weeks and I'm going I'm to do a bit of sewing in a bit. Okay. Hi, Susan. Susan said they're toes with long claws, so they are toes. Thank you. There you go. Your reputation is restored. I've had this plugged in the whole time. Right, let's. I'm going to bring out the, the June Taylor again, just the pressing mat. But I wouldn't ordinarily at home do this on my cutting mat. Move that out of the way, really. Um, but I have got my quite a, a chunky, chunky mat here. So when you get your fat quarters home, obviously you can have such stubborn creases can't you so to get them out I want to show you how powerful your print mini iron is it, it is essentially a travel size iron but packs a punch it's got the strength of your domestic iron at home it's got a steam on and steam off button steam on steam off steam on steam off it's also got your minimum and maximum so you can see when it's full up uh, you just uh, Put your water in there it's got a lovely ergonomic handle really lovely ergonomic handle oh i've got too much water in here joe said to me earlier you're um i think it's full vic because it was completely overflowing i was pouring it in and i was chatting away and he's like you, your iron's full so i've got a little bit of water there but then i just love the little it looks like a little face doesn't it your red light to show when your um when your light is ready but sometimes, if you do get the bigger iron out and you're ironing half square triangles, it's hard to get your larger iron into the right sort of corners. So I really like it. I love this iron. I've got this at home and it's just really lovely. As I say, ergonomic, easy to grip. It's got the little feet as well, so it stands up. And it just irons beautifully. It irons like your um, your home main iron. But people aren't going to come up to you and say, oh, we just iron this shirt. We just iron these trousers. I'm not ironing, I'm pressing. Uh, it's got a really lovely long cord. I know that Hannah always likes me to show you a really nice long cord because travel iron cords annoy me. They really, really do. You know that program, is it Room 101? 101, that would be my pet hate, is short cords when you're in hotel rooms and they're a little travel iron, little travel uh, kettle. You have to do it all in the little corner of the room, don't you? So your prim mini iron, it's really beautiful and it is a steam iron. And it works very, very well with your best press. As I said, if you have got stubborn creases uh, in any of your fabrics, then 
definitely, definitely recommend the Best Press. It's the first time that we've had it in uh, scent free. We normally have it with lavender. I don't know whether we've had the linen, but it's the first time that we've got it in scent free. And the price is brilliant. It's £8.99. Great price on this one for nearly 500 ml. 499 mil. Uh, if you've tried other starch sprays and you haven't got on with them, still I would recommend having a go with this one. If you found that you have experienced clogging or flaking or if you're using dark fabrics and it leaves dark, um, uh, if it leaves like sort of white flakes and marks on your fabric, have a go with this because the reviews have been amazing. It's just £8.99 and it's the big bottle as well. It is the big bottle. It has a really lovely fine spritz, so it's not going to soak your fabric. Uh, ideal to get out your stubborn creases. If you're working with bias edges, if you are um, ironing out your blocks, I would just give this a really good spritz. I'm thinking, Kat, if you're ready to iron all your EPP, give it all a good spray and it will just press. It was so satisfying to just see it all beautifully pressed and it almost gives it a bit more sort of structure and stability, uh, especially if you're working on like a, a, a finer weight cotton. This is slightly lighter weight cotton from the early bird. It's lovely. That's £8.99 and it's completely scent free. Uh, right, do not go anywhere because anything that we haven't seen, uh, I will try and move into the next hour, but we're going to be looking at creative grids and some more tools all coming up. We don't go anywhere. I, I'm really, really looking forward to this next hour. I'll see you right after this. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to show you what we need to get ready for our sew along on the 18th of April. You're going to see a hyperlapse video of me doing really, really quick work on how to make this wonderful quilt to get you ready if you'd like to sew along with us and what you need to do. So the first thing you're going to do, either using a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter, whichever you feel more comfortable with, you're going to separate all 48 of your different strips, being the uh, sunrise, sunset, the azure and the berry, break those all up and keep them in order from dark to light in each colourway. In the way that I did the quilt for the show, I had dark berry to light berry and then I decided to go light blue to dark blue and then the dark sunset to the light sunset. So now you would have taken your design rolls and you would have cut them all into these amazing strips that go from light to dark. I piled them up in half going from light to dark as I cut them off the roll. So I have the, the berry one. Uh, no, this is the sunset one. I have the azure and I have the berry one. That's the sunset, the azure and the berry one. So what I'm doing now is I've decided that these ones are quite close together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these ones from light to dark, but I'm going to turn these round and do dark to light. So what I'm going to join, do is take one from that pile, one from that pile, one from that pile, then one from that pile, one from that pile, one from that pile, and just go in order and sew them all together. So these are, when I say sew them together, these are going to be the short ends here. So that will be sewn together to one of these. This will be sewn to one of those, those will be one of the, on the short end. Once you've separated your blocks and you've decided that you're going to now stitch these all together, you're going to take the short ends of your strips and you're going to sew those together. The way I decided to do it was I went from orange, blue, berry, and I kept that order going. So you had a dark orange, light blue, dark berry, and decreasing all the way around until you had a light orange, dark blue, light berry. Once you've now sewn your short ends together and you have a 1700 odd inch piece of fabric, you're going to take one side and you're going to cut 20 to 30 inches off one side of this fabric long strip. Reason being is that if you don't, you're not going to have any movement of the fabric throughout the quilt and it will just be the same as sewing the whole grid together and that isn't going to be what we need. Once you've done that, you're going to take the two raw edges of your fabric, which aren't sewn together, put them right sides together and you're going to sew along one side of the fabric. Fabric. So after you've done all of that, you're going to come to the end and there will always be a kink, a curve, a wobble, don't worry. Literally fold in half as close as you can get it to half and cut it. I know everybody just freaked out a little bit, but I promise you it doesn't matter. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to sew this off to get to the very end. You just fold those to the edge there and you sew to the end. At 
this point, you're now going to take your rotary cutter and your ruler, and you're going to square the edge of your of your um, pieces off. This is how far you'll need to get to be able to join me in the sew along and sew along with me on the 18th at about 9, 9.30. So please, any questions, drop me a line on social media. And thank you so much for your time. Look forward to seeing you on the 18th. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, thank you so much for your company. I've had lots and lots and lots of messages, which is so important. It really, really is. I think especially now more than ever, we all keep interactive. So definitely go to the, the, uh, the social media pages, speak to everybody on there, share your makes. Uh, every week, by the way, I must mention that we're doing a, a make of the week. So Debbie, myself and John, we're all picking uh, a make that stands out to us on the Facebook page. Uh, so please do enter as you get some money off vouchers every week we're giving a uh, giving away five pound off voucher uh, just by simply uploading your pictures onto the fan page so please please do because i love looking at all of your pictures it's just brightened up this very very difficult time that we're all in so uh, thank you for your company we're doing everything in our power to stay on air and be in your living room or in your kitchen or on the go with you as safely and as, uh, as we possibly can. So we haven't got any cameramen in. It's literally me. Normally we'd have a producer, we'd have cameramen, we'd have a lot of people, floor managers, we'd have people in and out of the offices, like talking us through everything. We've obviously have guest designers coming in, the experts coming in and demonstrating. Um, and instead you got me and Joe. <laughs> no experts, you got me and Joe. So Joe's um, multitasking away in there my word he really really is uh, that's why he gets paid the big bucks he's doing everything so is that how you get paid for this i just come in for fun um no so also can i just say if you want to um get involved on the website it's www.sewingstreet.com i just need to take a sip of my drink if that's okay i'm gonna cough <coughs> one second thank you um Oh, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Little tickle. I've just inhaled some sort of um, fabric lint as I'm getting all these ready. Uh, right. What else was I going to tell you? Joe's like, I don't know. I wanted you to show the slide then, Joe. But uh, it is www.sewingstreet.tv uh, to shop on all of the items that we've got. All of the creative grids are already listed underneath, and I know a lot of people have already spotted some of the stripology rulers, which are there underneath us. Sorry, just had a big drink there. Uh, right, so Creative Grids. Uh, those of you that know Creative Grids, you probably absolutely love them. And I know a lot of people have messaged in and said that they've got them in the tens. They've got lots of different rulers for, for different projects. 
I, um, there's lots of different uh, rulers. I'll, I'll start with the blue bundle. I'm going to start with fabric. Sorry, I'm all over the place. And then I'm going to start, and then I'm going to, um, and then I'll talk to you more about creative grids. So, I've put it all under somewhere here. There we go. We've got loads to do, loads and loads to do. We've done a bundle using uh, a, another new ruler. This is something that I've never actually used before, never seen before. I literally saw it for the first time two days ago and I've had a bit of a play around with it. But you get your 60 degree triangle ruler with all of the measurements plus two meters of fabric. So your blues and your greys, you've got your lovely royal blue, your navy blue, you've got your white and you've got your grey. All half meter pre-cuts. We love this colour bundle. I know how popular they always are. And there's so much that you're going to be able to do with your creative grid triangle ruler, which I'll talk through. Um, I'll talk for you very soon. But creative grids themselves are, there's lots of rulers that you can buy. I've got to be, I'm trying to be a bit careful with how I say this, but do you know what? I'm just going to say it. Normally, I will give you options of different sewing machine brands. I'll give you different options of rotary cutters, different options on cutting mats, different options on scissors. Rulers, I wouldn't get any other ruler. I wouldn't go to any other company to get a ruler. Uh, anybody who has used Creative Grids, maybe for the first time and have been used to using another one, have stuck with Creative Grids. Please let me know what you think to them because we'd love to have your feedback. But they are brilliant. They are designed by quilters, for quilters. Everything is so easy, everything, it just makes sense. Your instructions are brilliant. They help your hand along the way with so many tutorial videos online. Uh, they've got rulers for so many blocks. They give you inspiration, but then the reason they're called Creative Grids is because you can do your own thing and you can go and play around and get creative and make your own quilting designs and your own blocks. So this is a great bundle to be able to play around with as you've got sort of your different shades of blue, you've got a bit of light and shade with it to be able to work with. But I mean, if you're adding in some from your stash, if you're adding in some pattern fabric from your stash, by all means, go for it. Uh, cutting with this, I think this would be really nice to make some strip sets up and then use your ruler. You could even just do fancy bunting with this. There's so much that you're gonna be able to do. That's your 60 degree triangle ruler and all of that fabric for 13 pounds 96. That is such good value, isn't it? Really, really good value. Uh, and a ruler that you're gonna use not just for one project, for loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. The other bundle that I'm looking at, which is the one that I um, had a bit of a play around with. I separated it up a bit, but I mean, this is the great thing, is they work really, really well together. Uh, I think they would look lovely, as I say again, in strip sets and cutting them to be able to, um, to do all of your different fabrics uh, in sort of strips. I've seen great hexi quilts. I've seen huge table runners using the, the 60 degree triangle. I, I didn't realize just how extensive uh, the the information and uh, and the the videos online are for this there's so much help and guidance literally pause stop step by step very clear instructions we love 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 this ruler um in fact john i have to apologize to john cole morgan because he has sent me so many messages saying vic this is like at nine o'clock at night saying, Vic, oh my word, can we FaceTime? I want to tell you what I love about this ruler. He was, he saw it on Facebook and he said, that's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. So you need to get a demo with John on doing this as well, because I know that he's got loads. And I was out on my walk yesterday and missed his call. So um, <laughs> I still don't know. Go on, you've made an error. Oh, Joe's made an error. Sorry, he said, it doesn't come with the ruler, it's the bundle of fabric, but we think it's going to be great with the ruler. Yeah. It's all right, Joe, no worries. Ideal for, um, ideal for any of the creative grids, actually. £13.96, half a metre, that's the same for both bundles. Half a metre of your pink, half a metre of your purple, half a metre of, is that um, cream? And then half a metre of like your raspberry, which is beautiful as well. Yeah, it is cream. Magenta, cream, purple, and that lovely blush. 
That is so beautiful, isn't it? £13.96. Sorry about that. It's all right, Joe. You can't be right all the time, all the time. So just to remind you, you're just getting the fabric bundle. Sorry about that. We will offer the 60 degree triangle. Don't you worry, though, as we go along. So creative grids, creative grids. I'm going to put this together with this. I've made so many notes. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, let's start with the big one. The reason that so many people love creative grids I think, for one, is because of their really unique uh, non-slip grip. This is going a bit back to basics for anybody who does know Creative Grid already. I apologise and I, 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 I'm sure I'd love to have your input actually in this show. As I say, normally we'd have um, a, a guest designer, a demonstrator, somebody who's expert with these rulers. Uh, I've seen them, I've watched demonstrators use them all the time, uh, but I'd love to, again, get your hints and tips with these. This is your big rectangle ruler, which is eight and a half by 24 and a half inches. The great thing about having this this length, this 24 and a half inches, is that you're going to be able to, to trim off your salvage and you're going to be able to cut from your whole width of fabric, basically, for £31.99. Back to the, the reason that I say a lot of people love this, uh, th these rulers, is a lot of rulers, you can buy stickers to give you non-slip grip, but then if you think about it, as soon as you place it down onto your fabric, it's going to be sort of stuck to it whereas you can move this freely along your fabric until pressure is is, is applied that's when the non-slip grip action comes into play if i turn it this way around then can you see you've got little frosted sections throughout the whole of the ruler as well as all around the perimeter so that is not a sticker i can't scratch that off that is not going to come off it's not going to wear away it's built especially into the acrylic plastic so that it's, it, it, it is designed to, to give you more accuracy, give you more safety and not going to slip and slide all over the place. But look at how many non-slip grips are all over the ruler. It's brilliant, it really is. And it's quite, it's quite, um, it is actually quite uh, helpful as well. Can you see the one across this edge is quarter of an inch? So I often use that as a reference point uh, to be able to see the quarter of an inch line. So that's brilliant. All of the creative grids that I'll be going through, it's not going to stick to your fabric, it's not going to leave any sort of sticky residue, it's not sticky, it's just rough. It's like a rough, can you hear it? The sound, it's different, but it's built into the plastic so it's not going to come off. Um, now. The Creative Grid logo, that's not a sticker. I always thought that was a sticker on there, it's not. That's another non-slip grip. Um, if you have that facing you, then you can see all of, it might be easier if I, shall I put something under it so you haven't got the lines from the mat? I'm just gonna do it like this so you can see. If you've got um, the Creative Grid logo facing you, then you can just about sort of see, going along the one side and along the bottom edge, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on and so forth. It's got a turnaround system so that then if you spin the whole ruler 180 degrees, it's then got your half inch mark. So one and a half, uh, half an inch, one and a half inch, two and a half inch, three and a half inch, four and a half inch, and so on and so forth. And it goes all the way across the ruler. Plus, you've then got your quarter of an inch markings in white, and you've got um, your eighth of an inch mark every uh, black line across here as well. It's so accurate and so precise. You've got your crosshair through the center, great for, for, for lining up and doing, uh, you know, squaring up your blocks. It's got your 45 degree angle, your 60 degree angle, all included on the ruler. That is a really great one to start out with. If you are starting with Creative Grids and you're not sure which ones to go for, um, then that's a brilliant one. Either this one or the next one I'm gonna show you. £31.99 for this one. Store them flat as well. Do make sure if you look after them, they will really, really last the test of time. You won't need to rebuy any of these um, if you look after them. This is the six and a half by 24 and a half. So if you imagine, I, what I like about this one is that you can, I'm just, I'm not gonna cut this one because it's from the bundle, but if you folded this in, if you've got this folded in half, this is just half a metre, you can then, straighten up your edges and I always recommend straightening up your edges because it's, it is cut off a bolt um, it might not be completely straight so before you start doing your cuts 
straighten up your edges, but then you can easily trim off your salvage doo -doo 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 -doo, really quickly and efficiently without having to stop and move your ruler, stop and move your ruler, cut and stop and move your ruler. You can just do that in one clean sweep. If you have got a meter, fold it over. You can cut with your rotary cutter as long as you feel happy to. You can cut through multiple layers. It's a lovely thick acrylic um, that, that you're working with with Creative Grid. But the way that the non-slip grip works, can you see how this is now moving freely across the fabric? As soon as you get to the right position, you measure up, you're in a straight line, you apply that pressure. As soon as you apply that pressure, you then aren't going to be slipping and sliding all over the place. It's not going to be moving you can then make your cut safely and precisely. This is the one that I've got. This is one that I know um, a lot of people start out with, as I say, because you can cut from a four width fabric, cut your salvages off, um, and it is brilliant to have all of the, the features that you normally get with Creative Grids, like your turnaround feature, all of your, your eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch markings, your, your angles as well, 23 pounds, 99 pence. It's one I think that you're gonna use a lot of, a lot of. We've got the six and a half by twelve and a half. Hannah, is this the one that you've got? The six and a half by twelve and a half, the rectangle, or have you got a longer rectangle than this? I think Hannah's got this one. I think the reason that this one has been very popular. Well, this only launched, I believe, on Monday. Um, but the reason that I think this one has been so popular is because of space saving. Um, it is going to be easy to transport. Don't get me wrong, you, you can still use this to, to straighten up your edges and you can still use it to trim off your salvage, but if you think about it, you've just got to fold it. You're just going to have to fold it again to be able to cut them off. And you should be able to. I mean, it depends on how comfortable you are with your rotary cutter. You have kind of got to get your... Um, you've got to sort of put your body weight on top of it to be able to cut through. Um, but it is doable, absolutely doable, with a nice sharp rotary blade. So again, if I just put this over on here, then you can see, just like the other rulers that I was looking at, you've got the turnaround system, which means your white numbers along the bottom and along the edge, all are going in your inch, in inches, in full inches. And along each inch, you've also got a straight, solid, black line, followed by your eighth of an inch, you've got your quarter of an inch, you've got your half an inch marks as well. So it, it really does help and guide you through along the whole of the ruler and you can see right through it. So if you want to do some fussy cutting, you can. So then I'll spin it round, the turnaround feature. Again, running along the side and the bottom, I've got my half, my one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and so on and so forth, and going along the bottom. This is your quarter of an inch frosted line around both edges here, and then this looks like half an inch. Could be a full inch, actually. No, half an inch, um, going around the side. So then you can use those as reference points. It's got a little gap. You can see a little hole here. Um, that's ideal for hanging up, actually. So if you're hanging these or storing them on the back of a door, or you've got them on um, one of those... Have you seen the June Taylor rulers, the rule, the ruler rules? These are great for that as well. You can just put them on sort of like a, a rotating ruler uh, hanger. Uh, just store them flat or, you know, straight. Don't be shoving them in and out of drawers because uh, you will run the risk of damaging it. And you do want to make sure that you've, you've got a nice ruler ready to go. Okay. So just to reiterate, if you're loving this blue, it's beautiful. We've got two bundles that we've put together because of the confusion earlier if you want to ring the customer service team you can do it free of course so you can do it free of course so you can um you can change your order if you, if, if you would like to do so sorry about that if you thought that it came with the ruler um yeah which is joe's fault which is Joe's fault. He's walking out. He's like, I've, I've done it. I'm done. Um, so you've got your grey. You've got your cre ivory, I think, on this one. Ivory. You've got your navy blue and your lovely deep blue as well, which is the one that I was looking at. £13.96 is for your two metres of fabric. I can see where your confusion has come from, though, Joe, because it says in the graphics, doesn't it, your ruler. But I think it's because it was designed to go with um, the ruler that I'm using. Thirteen pounds and ninety-six pence for two meters of fabric, all pre-cut into half meters. So, um, if you are multi-buying on this, just be aware that they will already come 
they will already come cut. Sorry, I was just putting my sewing machine, make sure it was all sorted. 13 pounds, 96 pence for two meters of your blue. We've also got the pinks. I love this one. This is the one that I love. I like it with the pinks and purples, your blush, you've got magenta, you've got purple, and you've got cream. 13 pounds, 96 pence. And just to reiterate, this is without the triangle ruler. It's all right. We'll make mistakes. You're forgiven, Joe. Right. So, are we going on to the create the uh, stripology? Um, this one. This is new. This has never been on air before. Um, and we're going to come back to this later. Are you just quickly flashing this or do you want me to talk about this now properly? Okay, so the great thing about this is, what's the time now? Okay, so the brilliant thing about this is that it's two rulers in one. Don't get me wrong, all of the rulers that I'm showing you, yes, you can cut off your salvages and you can do different things, but you're going to be able to do so much with every single one of these rulers. The reason it's called Creative Grids is because you can get really, really creative. Now, this is two, two rulers in one. You've got your half square triangles, and then you've got this side, which is for your quarter square triangles. How many patterns do you know that contain half square triangles or quarter square triangles? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This is gonna speed it up, make it accurate, make it precise and make it easy. Um, don't throw this away. I, I always, you know, you, when you take off your packaging and you, you know, you throw the bits and bobs away, you think, oh, that must just be a little pamphlet. I'm throwing it away. Don't, because actually this is your instructions. It comes with a QR reader, which will take you straight to um, fantastic links and demos and videos. The Creative Grid website always are full of videos. There's loads and loads on there on each of these rulers. Plus, if you search sort of YouTube, People around the world all showing you different ways of using these rulers is brilliant. Lots of people getting creative. So I'd love to know what you do. But the instructions are really lovely and clear as well. Really lovely and clear of how to make your half square triangles, which look like this. Your little half square triangles and your quarter square triangles. Don't judge me on my point, slightly missed it. <laughs> um, but really easy to cut your half square triangles. Let's start with that one. So I'll put it on the overhead so you can see. <laughs> yes, I will now. So two rulers in one, up to five inch. So you can see there, one inch triangles, two inch triangles, three, four, and five. And then also you can do, there's a white dashed line, you're half an inch in between. The white measurement on the other side, we flip it round to do the uh, quarter square triangles. And this is the size of the finished triangle that you're wishing to cut. So a bit different to the others. This is the finished size of the triangle that you're wishing to cut. The black solid lines are your full inch. And then again, you've got the white dashed line as you go around, uh, as you go down uh, for your half inch. So if you need three and a half inch triangles, you would cut into strips. It's designed to cut from strips, line it up and simply cut very simply and very easily and very quickly. Yeah, just line it up um, and you have got the quarter of an inch dash line. Can you see around the edge as well? Um, for your seam allowance. So it is a really great ruler again that has all of the same benefits that we saw earlier on. It's still got that non-slip grip. It's got that turnaround feature. This one's brilliant. It has got two in one, but cutting half square triangles, you just choose simply the height um, that you want from one to five inches. It cuts up to five inch triangles. Add your half an inch there, of course, as well, for then your seam allowance for £19.99. I think there's a lot for your money on there for how often you're gonna use half square and quarter square triangles. Brilliant. Okay, so the ruler, the 60 degree triangle ruler that I've been having a bit of a play with over the last couple of days. Now, I just want to say, you know me, I have never ever done any, um, any bits and bobs on telly before, so bear with me, because I will be slightly nervous but I'm really excited actually because we're all on this journey together and I think it's important to just tell you what I actually found difficult about it or any things I found 
great about it. And actually, I was really shocked at how I picked it up so quickly because I'm not great at maths. And I think when you see a ruler that's got lots of measurements all over it, lots of numbers and lines and dashes, I just go, whoa, 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 whoa. It's too complicated for me and I, I'm just not gonna pick it up. Creative Grids have done all the hard work for you. They really, really have. They've eliminated the maths. You don't need to do it. They've got shortcuts and different ways of doing it. So this ruler looks like a very basic triangle ruler. It's not. There's so much that you can do with this. Um, I had a bit of a, a look on YouTube. I had a look on the pamphlet, I had a look on the instructions, and on your um, instructions, you can, it tells you that you can make triangles from one inch right up to eight inch. You can do triangles together to make them into big hexes like this. In fact, I will show you. Like this. Now I can also show you what I did wrong on these. So you can put them together, they're eight inch. Um, what I did to do this, by the way, <laughs> what I did wrong, this is what we always do, isn't it? Point out the wrong things first and I'll tell you what I've done wrong. And you probably wouldn't even notice if I just held it up like this, you wouldn't know. But I was on um, chat to Hannah and Joe and Kat and Laura and John Scott, in fact, and we were all, uh, we were all just chatting and I was sewing along and I started sewing all my triangles together, sewing them all round together and then realised, oh, I've got one left. I just sew it on and then they've just not quite met it's gone a bit lumpy it's very bulky at the back not happy with it so then I thought right what am I doing let's just think about this logically we've got all of these triangles sew these three together first then take it away then sew these three together and then put them together and you only then need to do you one seam across and it makes it a lot neater and a lot easier to do so then my i thought I've, i think i've got enough fabric to do four of these with my, my half meters and then realized that would make a y seam if i try and sew this in then i'm gonna have to do a y seam so i stopped here and um i was told that no if you're going to make a quilt if you were going to continue with this pattern and make a quilt you wouldn't sew it together like that, you do it in strips. So don't worry, otherwise you would have to do a Y seam, which Sally, Sally Stevens told us it's not too scary, but it scared me a bit yesterday. But they'd be nice cushions even, wouldn't they? And that's from the, the same, the, the pink and, uh, and magenta purple um, block. So to cut big triangles like that, I'll just quickly show you um, what I did. And then I am gonna show you my, my main my main bits and bobs that I've been doing. So your triangle, you can see that you've got your eight inch line. So I cut eight inch strips of fabric. The top of your ruler has got its top missing. That is intentional. This is why we love Creative Grids because they are quilters and they are designing for quilters. So they know what we need, they know what we prefer, they know what's useful for us. So taking off that little nib, one makes it really helpful to line up your, your, um, your points uh, when you're sewing, but also it will eliminate bulk and any dog ears. So you don't need to be trimming off dog ears here, there and everywhere. That's gonna eliminate that, which is brilliant. So, I mean, you can make fancy bunting with this. You can do hexes, like as I say, right little ones as well would be really cute. Different rainbow ones would be lovely. Lots that you can do just from strips. Even your two and a half inch strips, your panels, you could make little tiny little rainbows. They look beautiful. So, what I thought though I would do is my what, sorry, my iron. Yes, it is, I must be careful. Sorry. Yeah, you can see that, can't you, happening. What I thought I would do is I'd have a bit of adventure a bit further into what these can do. I was on YouTube and I was looking, I thought, wow, that looks so impressive. So on the official Creative Grids YouTube um, channel, they work with lots of different designers. I know Pam and Nikki Lintot, a lot of their books have got advised Creative Grids. Um, uh, and there's, there's a lot of different designers. Lynn Edwards is another one. And I found, um, Rachel Cross, who designed this, she was doing a video of how to do the Magic Lantern block, which I looked at that and thought, I can't do that. I can't do that. In fact, I sent this over to a lady called Elizabeth and she said, Vic, I always love watching you because I feel like 
we're on the same level and she's like, I feel like you've surpassed me now. I haven't at all. It's really, really simple to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Get yourself the ruler and it really holds your hand. So, do you want me to show you how you do it? I've used two different colours from the purple bundle. So I've gone for the blush and the uh, cream, which work really, really nicely together. And I've simply taken an eight and a half inch strip. Now I've already cut the one side of it, so I just thought, oh, I'll bring this in so you can see it. Now, the way you would line this up, it's an eight inch strip along that bottom edge. You can see you've got that solid black eight inch line. You can just about, if I move, if I shimmy up slightly, there you go, you'd be able to see it. Your eight inch line is there, line that up along, and then also you'll see how your top edge is square with the top of your tri uh, with the top of your fabric. So then you make the cut, you simply cut. This is where your rotating cutting mat actually would come in handy. So if you've got your rotating cutting mat, you can simply just, uh, I did have it handy, but then um, I've moved it. But if you just simply, da -da -da -da, it will give you two of these. You can keep going along, and if you are making a larger project, then just keep cutting and cutting and cutting. Don't worry, I thought, oh my word, I've lost the top of it, and then proceeded to watch the video and realised, no, that's fine. It, I looked at the ruler, the top never existed, it's fine. So you will need two triangles that you cut out like this. You only need one of them for now though. One of them will make half of it and the other one will make the other half. So then you also need your second fabric, which is the cream one in this instance. I've got two triangles, put them to the side. I've then got this one, which measures eight inches by uh, five and I think it was five and three eighths. Yeah, so eight inches high, five and three eighths. You need to cut one triangle like this. Then you get your ruler, place it again onto your eight inch line at the bottom. And then can you see you've got that central line here? To the left of that, as a shimmy across, you've got your quarter of an inch seam allowance. So what I'm gonna do, if I put that on the edge and then shimmy it across to that quarter of an inch, line it up along the bottom, make sure it's all lined up nicely and make the cut there. Let me just check I'm accurate. I'm doing this on telly. <laughs> I've got to make sure, Kieran said, just take your time, measure twice, cut once. Okay, this was my cutting helper. Make your cut and then also, can you just see, I don't think you can on telly, there's a tiny little end. There's a tiny little poking off the end here. What I'm going to do, you'll see it at home, saving time, just give that a little cut and remove your little dog ear. So that's the one. You then spin this round and you'll see that that gives you two triangles that should be the correct size. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the other little dog ear. So that's correct. I'm just going to trim off that other little dog ear that's poking off the side and that's going to help me as well. So I've now got two. They look like triangles, but they've got little points at the top. Two of these. If you put them right sides together, and then open them out. That will give you your sort of symmetrical, you want them matching like this. And then we get our 60 degree triangle and place them like that. We then, if you, you see now why, losing those top sections is gonna help us when we're sewing to be able to line them up. Don't worry that you've got your little quarter of an inch hanging off the end, that's correct. I thought I'd done it wrong, you haven't. You sew that side to this side, you sew this side across there with a quarter of an inch, um, with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, give it a good press and it will look like this. I might do that for you now actually because I'll show you using the quarter of an inch foot how easy that is. So I actually didn't pin, um, which I'm a bit of a rebel, aren't I? I'm taking after all these guest designers that we have in and I say, oh, do you pin? Will you pin? Should you pin? Uh, and they say, oh no, I don't pin, I don't pin. It actually is fine. I did find that with the seven, the, five, uh, the 570A, which has now sold out, um, it has 
It has got the speed control functions, so I did find myself just slowing down slightly. I've put the quarter of an inch foot on because I just find that really, really helps to, to still butt up against it and I know where I'm going. Now you can do a locking stitch to start. I'm gonna get myself all tangled. Locking stitch to start or do a forward and back. You can speed it up, slow it down by all means. So if you get to this point and you're thinking, ah, I'm not quite meeting, stop. Press stop, breathe and stop. My needle's still in, so that's fine. There's a needle up down button on this. So then you can keep going. I'm using a blue thread for telly purposes. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna use the snips. So then you've got your quarter of an inch seam on the one. What I'm gonna do is I'm then gonna get my pressing mat, which is over here. It's all right, we've, all, you, you, we've just got it all a bit awkward, haven't I? There we go. Set the seam by just giving it a little press. Are we all right for time, Joe? And then fold it back. And then we're going to repeat the same. I don't need to do it again. You can see that you just sew a quarter of an inch on the other side again. And you will get this. Now, you need these twice, really. I'd, I like to do just one block first so I know what I'm doing. And then, if you're a whiz, you'll be chain piecing, you'll be getting your production line going, you'll have done all your cutting. But it's quite nice to just see what one block looks like. Now, the finished size of that is 9 inches by 12 inches. But I think that would look amazing as a quilt or a cushion front as well. So then, all that you need to do, I've literally um, lost my other bits. All you need to do is then cut those into 2-inch strips. Again, using whatever ruler you want, you can use your triangle ruler, you can use your, um, your stripology even, and you're going to cut those into two inch strips. So then, if you imagine, you've got this. Then, this is where the magic comes into the magic lantern. All that you do is you turn them round. Let's turn them round, turn this one round, turn this one round like that and then sew them together. That is as easy as that. And it looks really, really effective. So then what I would do is I would sew these two together into pairs, and then I would add this one on. Or would you, would you do those two together and those two together? Right, let's do it, let's do it. What I like about, once you've given all your, good, your seams a press as well, the great thing about this is there aren't, there aren't any points really to match. When you get to the center, you've got a couple here, but they just nest in together really nicely, especially if you're using a best press. Um, they do tend to just nest in together. We are um, running out of time a bit, so I'm gonna do this quite speedily, but if you find that your seams start to flip up a bit, just make sure you've given them a good press and they should behave themselves, but but you can always stop and pivot and go back around. Where's that one going? I just like to check where my seams are and check that I'm happy with everything underneath. So sew these together. And then the nice thing is, is to just give it all a good press away from yourself. Well, I say away from yourself, there's no seams to match. You're looking at solid fabrics, so it's not too scary. It really, really isn't. And it's so satisfying. I like seeing the contrasting colours. I think it looks nice to be able to have two quite um, striking colours next to each other. See, I'm quite happy to then sew that to that one, Joe. Joe wants me to do it in pairs. It's however you want to get onto a roll. The reason I like to do it that way is so that I know I've got it laid out and I know that I'm sewing the correct one. Oh, no, do you know what? I, I've absolutely just done that wrong then, haven't I? No, that's right. That one goes to that one. <laughs> Are you making me doubt myself now? Uh, so then you make that twice. You make it twice, that's what your other one would look like. And just 
and just sew those together. One little bump that I did come across along the road was this part. So this is the only one that had a little dog ear. I would trim that off because if you're using a quarter of an inch foot like me, it got stuck. It tended to just get a little bit caught. So if you do just trim that off, then that will probably make life a little bit easier. But it is literally as simple as that. And that's another different way of using your, your 60 degree triangle. So I hope I hope that was okay, I hope it was clear, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to do a little bit more sewing on the show anyway, because I, I love it, and I just think that's so satisfying. Looks nice, doesn't it? Right, so the stripologies are possibly the most popular rulers that we stock from Creative Grid, uh, because you can sew, you can do, uh, don't get me wrong, you can cut strips, but then from strips you can subcut into squares, into triangles, into hexes, into diamonds. This is the latest. I've never seen this one before. It's so cute. Right, there's, there's, there's more uses for this than other, other than it just being really, really cute. But it's great. Now, you have the large stripology, you've got the square stripology, you've got the, the smaller square, and then this is the mini. Uh, so it has all the same original features, but with a few extras that I think you are gonna love. Um, so you can actually square up your half square triangles, you can square up your quarter square triangles, you can square up your finished blocks up to six inches, so you've got them all here. And you can square up, whether it be your full inch uh, is in black, four inch, five and six. And then can you see the white squares as well? Yeah, you can. The white squares are, there's your two and a half inch square, your three and a half inch square, four and a half inch, five and six and a half inch square you can, you can do on here. Uh, now, exactly like with the other stripologies that you may have seen, uh, you've got your turnaround uh, counting sort of code where you've got naught to six going across both sides and then if I flip it round, spin it round 180 degrees, you then got quarter of an inch markings on this one. So you've then got quarter of an inch markings plus you've got an extra quarter of an inch. So for example, oh in fact actually I haven't told you on this side, you've also got your eighth of an inch and a three eighths of an inch. Now there's no slot there to cut, but what you do is if you want to cut, for example, a two and three quarter inch square, you're thinking, oh, I've only got two and a two and a half. I want two and three eighths of an inch. How am I going to cut that? You shimmy your square across to that end dashed line and then you cut inside the two like you normally would and you'll get yourself a two and a two and three eighths of an inch strip. Oh my word, bit of a mouthful, but accurate. Eighth of an inch, you want a three and one eighth of an inch strip. There's your three, you roll it over to your eighth of an inch and you do that, so, I mean, it's really, really versatile. Not only for squaring up blocks, designed to, to use, uh, to, to cut strips with fat quarters or charm packs, it still has your non-slip grip and every single one of these little slots where you would put your rotary cutter and snip uh, and, uh, and cut, you've got uh, your non-slip grips. So it's one, really, really safe, but also, incredibly portable and less cumbersome if you're if you are cutting smaller pieces so if you are looking at like your half square triangles or you're looking at doing that you don't need to have your big creative grid stripology ruler out this is really handy remember all of them are on the website and there's so many uh, great demonstrations as well from creative grid i'm a huge huge advocate of them if you do want a larger one uh, I think this is the only other one that we've got in stock at the moment. As I say, they're always so, so popular. They've got these little grooves and teardrops to rest your, uh, rest your rotary cutter in at the bottom. You line up your fabric with the, with the zero line, and then once again, you can cut. You want a three inch square, there's your three inch. You want to use the, the quick access key at the bottom to, to not have to, to do the maths, which I personally love. So you line it up and you're thinking, right, I want two and a half inch strips. Without doing any maths or any thinking, you just concentrate on making sure that your fabric is nice and secure, you're concentrating on where your rotary cutter's going, two and a half inch, all you need to look for is squares. So you always start with your zero to make sure it's nice and straight, and then you'll do, there's the square, there's a square, 
there's another square, and you can quickly and very easily cut strips efficiently and accurately. Uh, what I like about it as well is that you can layer up. So you can actually do multiple layers of fabric, depending on how comfortable you are cutting through, uh, but you could do sort of four layers of fabric at one time, which is so <laughs> time effective, isn't it? Uh, you've got your full inches you've then also got your half inch sections as well you've got your qr code if you want to watch any other demonstrations but this is a really good size for larger fabric as well if you are uh, if you are working with half meterage or if you're working with larger sizes and doing those initial cuts then that's fantastic for that um a couple of messages come in hi sarah Oh my word, Sarah. Right, Sarah, we need you involved on our fitness DVD or VHS. I keep saying DVD, sorry, Joe. Um, Sarah is currently watching us. She says she's enjoyed the show. She's currently watching us from her garage on her spin bike, putting us all to shame, Sarah. <sighs> I'm jealous. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Who said sorry? Lynn. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous demo. Uh, don't forget my leotard for the, the fabric fitness. Yeah, forget Joe Wicks at 9am. I'll be getting doing our fabric fitness. We'll be doing all of our stretch. Stretch. Be good fun. Be good fun. We are going to make it work at some point. Okay. The fabric bundles that I used from earlier on, lovely, aren't they? I just think it eliminates having to think about what shades work together. If you're thinking of quilts or just for your stash, they're all really great colours with your solids. So you get your grey, navy blue, your different two shades of blue. And uh, remember, just sorry that we had a little bit of um, a mistake earlier on. It's just for the fabric, so the bundle, it, it doesn't come with the ruler. You can get the ruler separately, but the, uh, the bundle is just the fabric at £13.96. And you've also got that lovely light grey. Uh, you've got your purple bundle. Comes with cream, magenta, it comes with blush and purple. £13.96, all quality, 100% cotton, machine washable, solid colours that are great for your stash, great stash builders, always going to be useful and work really nice together, quite sort of like jewelry colours, aren't they? They're really nice. Um, that's £13.96. The best press, okay, go on. So the graphics say £8.99. Oh no, okay, so what do you mean? Are we gonna honor it? Let's do it. Right, they, the, the graphics are wrong, it should be 11.99. Should be 11.99, but we said, you know what, uh, because of the mistake we made earlier on, take advantage, it should be 11.99. Tomorrow, if it comes back, it'll probably be 11.99. If you've bought it at 8.99, you can still have it at 8.99. Don't worry, we're not gonna put the price up, you can still get it at 8.99. Brilliant! Oh, I like that. A nice little, um, little extra. Um, I thought, you know what? That is a lot for eight ninety nine. That is a big bottle of Best Press. It's going to keep you going, isn't it? Uh, and those of you that are working with bias binding, bias edges uh, at all, if you if you do start to see your fabrics warping, if you're handling them a lot, they will. Uh, this is going to help to reduce that. No flaking, no clogging. If you're using it on dark fabrics, you can, and it's not going to leave any, uh, any sort of white circles or flaking. If you're using it with your sewing machine, it's not going to gum up your needle. It's not like other starch sprays. We've had really, really fantastic feedback from this one. Uh, we have for years. We love it. So those of you that are after a fantastic starch spray, just for general lining as well, it's nice to just have um, in, your, in your laundry cupboard. £8.99, and this is the scent-free option. We've seen the lavender. I believe we might have seen linen, but we haven't had the, I don't know if we have had the linen, don't know. We definitely had the lavender, but we haven't had the scent free. For just eight pounds and 99 pence, uh, it is definitely worth making the most of that saving, especially as we've just found out the graphics are wrong. <laughs> 
It's 11 99 but don't worry, we're just going to say for today, if you want it, it's 8 99 Anybody who's checked out already, as I know so many of you have, um, then make the most of it. Don't forget to get the extra wide backing fabrics. I don't know if the red is back. I don't know if there's any red. I don't know what stock we've got, but check the website for any of those extra wide backing fabrics. They're 8 99 and a half metre as well. Extra wide. We started the show with those at half, well, we did it at half eight. Um, the brown was a brand new colourway as well, so I wonder how that's getting on with stock. I think they're all limited, but have a look on the website. So, tomorrow, um, you've got Debbie. You've got Debbie in tomorrow. Lovely show lined up for you with great fabrics. She's going to be doing some bag making. And, oh, I saw questions on the fan page, actually. Somebody was umming and ahhing saying about the 720 Pro. If you're in that same predicament thinking, oh, do I make that jump? It's an amazing machine. It is an amazing machine. Debbie is going to be talking for a whole hour about that machine. If you've got any questions, bag making related, or if you've got any questions about the 720, if you get them into Facebook tonight or today, uh, then Debbie should be able to see them and she'll hopefully be able to answer your questions on air tomorrow. Uh, so it's definitely worth using the social media and, and speaking to Debbie. Absolutely, ask her your, your questions. I know that that slides for the Sewing Street Surgery, but she's in tomorrow talking about the 720, so it's worth getting your questions in for that as well. It's been an absolute pleasure being with you for the last three days. Thank you for welcoming me back so uh, with open arms, so lovingly. I miss you all so much. It is a really difficult time that we're all in, and I just want to say everybody stay safe, stay well. It's really, really important that we all get through this together and come out the other side of it stronger than ever. Um, so next today's show, yesterday's show is going to be uh, playing over the next couple of hours. So enjoy that. If you haven't already seen enough of me, you can watch me for the next couple of hours. See you tomorrow.